Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to a beautiful Yellow Jacket Field where today the battle for our region championship continues. Uh, the Jeff Davis Yellow Jackets and the Worth County Rams in a doubleheader today. Jeff Davis a leg up on the Rams right now after winning 11-3 to in Tuesday over in Sylvester. Uh, so the Jackets will try to get game two. Alex Mason will be towing the rubber here in game two as the Jackets try to, to win the series. And then we'll hopefully go for the sweep in game three. But the Jackets... 13-0 in region play, Worth County 13-1, and, and so the Jackets just a half-game lead over the Rams for first place in the region in that important number one seed going into the playoffs. Beautiful afternoon here for baseball. We're going to play two this afternoon here at Yellow Jacket Field, but right now we're going to take a timeout, get some words from our fine sponsors on the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Make the switch to Mitch. Visit Designs and More by Brandy, located inside Mitch's Pharmacy. Brandy offers all occasion flowers, silk, and fresh. Shop Designs and More by Brandy for gift baskets for that special someone, shoes by Corky, and jacket t-shirts for the entire family. Located at 5 East Coffee Street in Hazelhurst, open 9 to 6 Monday through Friday and 9 to 12 on Saturday. Give them a call at 912-699-3784 and follow them on Facebook. Williams Brothers Trucking is now hiring qualified CDL Class A licensed drivers with at least two years over-the-road tractor-trailer experience. Williams Brothers Trucking has an excellent benefits package. They have quarterly bonuses. They have great insurance. They offer flexibility as far as your work schedule. Um, you're not really pressured into starting at any certain time throughout the day. Be home every day with family-owned and operated Williams Brothers Trucking. Apply now online. Go Jackets! At Altima Hall Bank & Trust, we strive to help you live your best life. That means offering loans for nearly any dream or goal. With competitive rates, local processing, and quick decisions, we can customize a loan to fit your needs. This is Misty Boatwright, Relationship Manager at the Hazelhurst Branch. Come see me today at 57 North Tallahassee Street or visit our website at altimahall.bank. And let's work together to achieve your financial goals. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Dairy Queen of Hazelhurst is proud to sponsor Jeff Davis Athletics. Whether you're celebrating a victory or cheering on your favorite team, DQ Hazelhurst is the ultimate destination for post-game happiness. Fuel your winning spirit with our mouth-watering grill burgers and cool off with our signature soft-serve ice cream. The perfect way to celebrate every triumph on and off the field. Make Dairy Queen Hazelhurst your post-game tradition because in Hazelhurst, we know how to score big on flavor and fun. Go Jackets! Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to... Welcome the back to Jackets. Yellow Jacket Field, where today the Jeff Davis Yellow Jackets and Worth County Rams in a Region 1 AA doubleheader. The Jackets defeated the Rams on Tuesday 11-3, to so a half game up on the Rams in this Region 1 AA race. The Jackets at 13-0, the Rams at 13-1. They will have a doubleheader with Cook Hornets next Saturday to wind up their region schedule. The Jackets will have a three-game set with Berrien County to wind up theirs. So big, big matchup here this afternoon. Let's go ahead and get you today's starting lineups first for Coach Will Shiver's Worth County Rams leading it off. Pitching will be Avery Kilcrease, batting second the third baseman, Luke Smith. Hitting third in center field will be Coy Etheridge, the shortstop, Owen Fletcher will hit cleanup. Batting fifth, second baseman and designated hitter Luke Rogers. Sixth batter will be the left fielder Leyland Ellis. At first base, Christian McDonald will hit seventh. Batting eighth and catching will be Brady Weaver. And batting ninth, center fielder Logan Fox. And now your starting lineups for head coach Paul Glasses. Jeff Davis, Yellow Jackets, Coach Glass coming into play today with an overall record of 512 wins against 264 losses. His lineup will go like this. Ethan Picanso, second baseman, will lead it off. 
Right fielder Hayden Turner will hit second. Batting third at first base, Duke Stone. Today's starting pitcher for the Jallets, Alex Mason, will hit in the cleanup spot. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Carter Mullis. Center fielder, Trayton Webster, will hit six. Batting seventh in left field, Jude Worthington, shortstop. Eli Saunders will hit eighth. And batting ninth, third baseman, Jackson Sayer. Dylan Kerlock starts defensively for the Jackets behind the plate. The Jackets lineup is going to go Picanso, Turner, Stone, Mason, Mullis, Webster, Worthington, Saunders, and Sayer. The coaches, Coach Glass and Coach Smith, along with today's two-man umpiring crew, meeting at home plate, going over the ground rules for today's game. The Jackets wear their all-white uniforms with the Navy numbers, Navy pinstripe down the leg of their pants, and the Navy caps, the interlocking J.D. Worth County. White jerseys with gold sleeves and gold numbers, black pants, and a tricolored cap, white on the front, front black, on, back on, black on the back, and a gold bill. And I'll get that out maybe sooner or later. Black on the back, a kind of tricky to say so the jackets and rams getting ready to go to go into action here mitch's pharmacy field condition report it's a beautiful day hardly a cloud in the sky temperature in the low 70s a bit of a breeze though blowing from left to right uh stiff enough at times that it could have some effect on some fly balls to the outfield the Playing surface looks to be in immaculate condition and should be a great, great time for baseball here at Yellow Jacket Field. The Rams being introduced, their starting lineup by PA announcer Dr. David Stapleton and expecting a good crowd here this afternoon. And I tell you what, we had a great crowd in Sylvester on Tuesday. It was Definitely a playoff-type atmosphere as they were. Sylvester fans were packed in as tight as they could get them, and the Jackets fans had a good representation over there. Worth County got out to an early lead. They scored two in the bottom of the first. Jackets answered with one in the third, then tied it with a single run in the fourth, and that's when things turned the Jackets way. Jackets put six on the board in the fifth. Big hit that inning was a three-run Williams Brothers Trucking Company home run by Duke Stone. Jackets added three more in the fifth inning. Uh, check that in the sixth inning. A two-run home run by Carter Mullis, the big blow in that inning. And Carter Mullis picked up the win. Andrew White came on and finished the game. Paul's here for our national anthem. National Anthem here at beautiful Yellow Jacket Field. Let's take a timeout. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. 
Make tailgating easy and delicious with help from Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. Three Rivers Meat Company offers specialty cuts of beef, pork, chicken, and seafood. They also have several types of the in-house made fresh sausage. If you need a grill, they're an exclusive dealer for Traeger Grills in Hazelhurst. To place your order in advance, call 912-551-9621 or visit their beautiful meat counter at 90 West Coffee Street. Go Jackets from Derek Wooten and the Meat Professionals at Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. The Bank of Hazelhurst is Jeff Davis County's only locally owned and operated bank, serving their friends and family since 1906. They offer a wide array of services, including personal, commercial, and electronic banking services, along with mortgage and ag lending. For more information on the services they offer, call them at 912-375-4228. Download their banking app or contact them online at bankofhazelhurst.com. The Bank of Hazelhurst. When others have their branches, they have their roots. Welcome back to Yellow Jacket Field, where... Just about ready to get underway. Alex Mason completing his warm-up tosses. Defense for the Yellow Jackets. Left outfield, left to right. Jude Worthington, Trayton Webster, Hayden Turner. Around the horn, third to first. Jackson Sayer, Eli Saunders, Ethan Picanso, Duke Stone. Dylan Carlock behind the plate and on the mound. Senior right-hander Alex Mason. Three wins, two losses on the year. 2.55 ERA. 28 and a third innings picked, 17 hits. He's allowed eight runs, only five of them earned, just six walks against 54 strikeouts. The throw goes down, and we're just about ready to start. Avery Kilcrease will lead it off, be followed by Luke Smith and Coy Etheridge for the Rams. Kilcrease had a double in four at bats on Tuesday. Driving in a run. It's fouled out of play. Nothing in one. This is Carter Galbraith night here at the ballpark. Swing and a miss. 0 and 2. Honoring. Jackets player who was injured in a freak accident in practice a few weeks ago. Boy, he's doing tremendous to foul. It's got out of play. Count remains. No balls, two strikes. Released from the Savannah Hospital, transferred to the Shepherd Center in Atlanta, and they'll be releasing him from there to go into rehab at Shepherd's. Call strike three, 76 miles an hour, all-speed pitch on the inside corner. And the first out of the inning is by strikeout. That'll bring up Luke Smith. Now by number six, Luke Smith. Luke Smith, a single, a strikeout, and a pair of walks on Tuesday. Left-handed batter. Alex Mason, who pitches full-time out of the stretch from the first base side of the pitching rubber. That one misses up and away for ball one. Alex signed his letter of intent to continue playing baseball for the Georgia Southern Eagles next year. The 1-0 pitch. That's a strike on the outside corner, 84 miles an hour. Good fastball there. Count even at a ball and a strike. Good crowd building up here at the ballpark. That's fouled off the end of the bat. All-speed pitch from... Mason had him a little bit out in front. It was ahead in the count, one and two. Nobody on and one out. And again, that breeze going pretty steady from left to right across the diamond. It's another foul. That was a fastball at 91. So Mason getting cranked up. That one missed down low. Even to count up at two and two. Well, just an absolutely gorgeous day here. Yellow Jacket Field. It's a ground ball to second. Picanso 
A couple of easy hops, and he'll make the peg over to Duke Stone. There's one or two away. Well, that will bring Corey Etheridge to the plate. Etheridge was two for four, double in a single. He drove in a run and scored one. As like we said, Worth jumped out to an early 2 nothing lead on Carter Mullis, but Carter grounded out and kept us in the game. Inside for ball one. Now, what a job by Andrew White. So he came in throwing BBs up there. Miss Low, 2-0. In the bottom of the sixth inning, had an immaculate inning. He struck out three batters on nine pitches. Popped up. Alex Mason right in front of the mound says he's got it. He does. And one, two, three go the Rams in the first inning. Half inning of play, no score. Where Jackets are coming to bat. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Since their founding in 1968, the Beasley Group has become a vertically integrated leader in the forest products industry, and this growth has made them the largest hardwood sawmill in the United States and North America's foremost producer of crane mats and timbers for the energy transmission, utility, and construction industries. The Beasley Group is proud to be members of the Hazelhurst and Jeff Davis County community. They are also proud supporters of all Jeff Davis High School sports. Go Jackets from the Beasley Group. CNH Creative Flooring can make your floors beautiful. They are this area's foremost experts when it comes to concrete grinding, polishing, crack repair, and epoxy coatings. They offer hundreds of color epoxy flake systems to choose from, custom metallics, neat coats, inlaid emblems, and much more. Whether it's your home, garage, man cave, pool deck, sidewalks, porches, or carport, let us help you make it gorgeous, safe, colorful, and skid resistant. Call Daryl Hutto at 912-381-9037 or Cody Carter at 912-592-5493 or message them on Facebook. Dairy Queen of Hazers takes us to the bottom of the first inning. No score in the game. Ethan Picanto, Hayden Turner, and Duke Stone will be first three up. Defensively for the Rams, the outfield left to right, Ellis, Etheridge, Fox. Third to first on the infield, Smith, Fletcher, Rogers, McDonald, Weaver behind the plate. And on the mound, right-hander Avery Kilcrease. So Ethan Picanso will step in. Ethan hitting 304 with a home run and 12 RBIs. Pops up. Shallow right field, second baseman drifting out. Way out into the outfield grass, he makes the catch. One pitch, one out for the Yellow Jackets. I'll bring up Hayden Turner. Turner hitting 288. He's got a homer and nine runs driven in. Low and away for ball one. Alex set the Rams down in order in the top half of the inning. Miss low 2-0. Gilcrease, not a very big guy. That's an all-speed pitch, 69 miles an hour, but it missed the inside corner. 3-0 now to Turner. Working quickly. 81 miles an hour, but low in a four-pitch walk. Jackets have a man aboard with one out. And bring Duke Stone to the plate. Stone had a day. Tuesday hit two home runs. So he's now hitting 349, leads the team with six home runs. Also leads with 21 driven in. Go to first is not in time. Miss low and away. One 
One and the count on Stone. Coach Paul Glass manning the third base coaching box. High pop on the right side. Right fielder may have lost it for a second, but now he's got it tracked. Waits for it to come down and makes the catch. There's two gone. Turner holds it first. They'll bring up Alex Mason. Mason hitting 346, has a home run in 13 driven in. Turner from, leads from first. Call strike at 79 on the outer edge. One on, two outs. That ball gets away from the catcher. And Turner will head over to second on the wild pitch. Count evens up at a ball and a strike on Mason. Thank all the people who join us on our Beasley Group live stream. Big crowd here early, 53 viewers showing right now. Checked his swing and took it low. Good take there by Mason. That's two and one. Counting his favor with a man in scoring position. Chance for Alex to help himself out here. Gripped by third. They're going to wave Turner. Left fielder loads up. Firing to the plate. The throw is in is late. The Jackets have jumped in front here. RBI single by Alex Mason. Let's see that on the back. Hey, sir, since the replay. See, Mason stroke it down the line. Going to get a wave around third, and here comes Turner in to score. Mason will take second on the throw to the plate. Camden Mansayak is going to come in to run for the pitcher. Mason bring Carter Mullis to the plate. Carter's been on a tear lately. Leads the team with a 404 batting average. He picked a, a home run yesterday. And I mean Tuesday in Dodge. I mean in Worth. He's got three on the season with 19 RBIs. Swing and a miss, 77 up around the letters. Plus another runner in scoring position with two outs. Jackets did some lot of work Tuesday with two outs against Worth. Down low, one ball, one strike. Camden Mansayak leads away from second with two outs, running for Alex Mason. Inside. Now Carter with the count in his favor, two and one. Stretch and the pitch. Swing and a miss. 75 up and away. Count evens at two and two. Jackets lead at one nothing on the Jeff Davis walk-in clinic scoreboard in the bottom of the first. Swing and a miss. Mullis goes down swinging, chase one that might have been out of the strike zone. Well, that'll do it here in the first inning. Jackets pick up a run on a hit. Leave one. One inning in the books. Jackets lead at one nothing on the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Cypress Hill Tent Shop, located in Graham, Georgia, offers tenting solutions for every need. Sunroofs, tent matching, removal of old tent, and new installation using state-of-the-art equipment and machines. Cypress Hill Tent Shop uses a union tent, guaranteed not to bubble, fade, or discolor over time, and offers both carbon and ceramic tent options. Tent protects the inside of your vehicle and keeps the inside cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. We also offer pickup and drop-off options for your convenience. Call us today. Go Jackets! EP American Footwear in Hazelhurst is proud to be a part of the Hazelhurst Jeff Davis community and are proud sponsors of all Jeff Davis County sports. If you're looking for a great job with a great company, they are hiring for all shifts. 
You can apply in person Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, at 10 North Hill Street in Hazelhurst. Go Jackets from all the folks at DP American Footwear of Hazelhurst. Go Jackets! Hazelhurst Dairy Queen takes us to the top of inning two. Jackets up 1 0 on the Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard. Owen Fletcher, Luke Rogers, and Leyland Ellis will face Alex Mason here in the second inning. First pitch is 90 miles an hour, but high. Ball one. Ellis was 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts on Tuesday. There's a strike. 87. Took a little bit off of that one and got it right on the knees. Ellis picked up the loss in that game against the Jackets. So he started on the mound for the Rams. All speed pitch. Nips the outer edge and it's 1 and 2. But Alex says his off speed stuff working along with that. 90 mile an hour fastball. He can be tough to deal with. Defensive swing there by Ellis to file it off and stay alive. Count stays one and two. A really good crowd gathering up here at the ballpark. Got a piece of that one. Filed it right off of Carlock's headgear, I believe. Right-hander back in the box. Mason set at the belt. Lifting there to center field, going back about four steps. Is Trayton Webster, and he camps out under it and makes the catch for out number one. I'm bringing Luke Rogers to the plate. Now that is number three, Luke Rogers. Rogers was, was 0 for 3. He did reach on the fielder's choice. Jackets won that game Tuesday, 11 to three, to take sole possession of first place in the region. 92 miles an hour and right on, at the knees for a call strike. See, look like Alex reached back, got a little extra on that one. That's another 90 plus mile an hour pitch, but that's fouled off. On the right side, and the count goes to 0-2. Mason, 54 strikeouts and 28 innings coming into today's action. The 0-2. Hot shot, one hopper right at Duke Stone.
your eyes are your window to the world around you and good vision is important to everyone. At Southern Eye Care, you can count on their expertise in treating all types of vision problems to help you see your best. From glasses to contact lenses, from surgical vision correction to treatment of eye disease and injury, their team is here to help take care of your eyes. Your vision matters at Southern Eye Care in Hazelhurst. Call them for an appointment at 912-375-2516 or visit them online at southerneyecarepc.com. Experience a better way to bank at Interstate Credit Union in Hazelhurst, where they offer a wide variety of loans. Interstate Credit Union is second to none when it comes to low rates and great customer service, specializing in personal loans, new home and construction loans, and automobile loans, as well as many other types. Their broad services include personal checking, savings, business, in-person, online, and mobile banking, and much, much more. Visit them at 14 Henson Street, or call 912-375-0640, or you can contact them online at interstatecu.org. Dear Queen of Hazelhurst takes us to the bottom of the second inning of the Jackets up. One to nothing on the Jeff Davis walking cleaning the scoreboard. The Trayton Webster, Jude Worthington, and Eli Saunders. First pitch from Webster's grounded to short. Go over to first in time. One pitch, one out. Again, here to start the second inning. I'll bring Jude Worthington to the plate. Jude hitting a even 500 in limited playing time, but he's won that left field job. A homer and six runs driven in. All speed pitches in for a call strike. Jude and Camden Mansiak. Carter Mullis also playing some in left. But kind of Jude's kind of nailed it down right now. Foul back, it's 0-2. Nobody on and one out. So Jude's really got a battle now. Down in the count. Swings and misses. 83 miles an hour down around the knees. And Kilcrease picks up his second strikeout. But two away for Eli Saunders. Eli hitting 212, but has driven in 12 runs. Up high, count even to the ball and a strike. Missed high again, two and one. I tell you what, Gilcrease doesn't waste any time. He grabs the ball and he's ready to fire it back to the catcher. Pop up, second baseman drifting out on the edge of the outfield grass. He's got it. Those jackets go three up, three down here in the second inning. We play two. Jackets lead at one nothing. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. At Jeff Davis Hospital in Hazelhurst, we are committed to building a healthy community. We use the latest technology, and our knowledgeable team members provide exceptional, state-of-the-art care to our local community and surrounding areas. We provide a respectful understanding of care for our patients and their loved ones. For more information about Jeff Davis Hospital and the services we provide, call 912-375-7781 or visit us online at jeffdavishospital.org. Dr. Kurt Munsiak and his staff at the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic have proudly served this community as the original walk-in clinic for your sick visit needs and as volunteer sports medicine for all our Jeff Davis athletics since 2014. Whether at the clinic, on the sidelines, courtside, mat side, or on the diamond, Dr. Kirk is always ready to help. Give him a call at 912-375-4884 or pop in at 22 Cross Street in Hazelhurst behind Jeff Davis Hospital. God bless and go Jackets from the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic.
Hazelhurst Dairy Queen takes us to the top of the third inning. Brady Weaver, Logan Fox. We'll go back top of the Rams lineup for Avery Kilcrease. Alex Mason ready to go to work here. Fires a strike in there to start Weaver. Weaver was 0 for 2 with a walk on Tuesday. Swing and a miss. Alex out in front now, nothing in two. The stretch and the pitch. Missed low and away at 90. The one, two. Got him. Swing and a miss. Second strikeout for Alex. There's one away. Mitch's Pharmacy Field Condition Report. Boy, what a beautiful afternoon. Cloudless sky. Temperature in the low to mid 70s, uh, but a bit of a breeze blowing on the field. It's blowing from left to right. Had not had any effect on anything to this point. Low and away to Logan Fox. With one on, with nobody on and one out. Fox scored a run, reaching on a fielder's choice, so he was 0 for 3. That's hit to short. Saunders, backhand pickup, loads it up, fires, and gets him by a step. Ball kind of came up a little bit on Eli that short, and as he backhand pickup, it kind of popped out of his mitt, but right to his throwing hand, and he just cocked and fired. There's two away. Every, every kill crease struck out his first time up. Jackets lead it one nothing on the Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard. Down low for ball one. Jackets just a half game lead over the Rams first place in the region that missed high two and zero. Berrien plays at Sumter in a doubleheader today. Berrien picking up their second region win of the season Tuesday. That's fouled out of play. Two balls and a strike. Jackets, Worth, and Cook have all clinched playoff bursts. Fitch, Fitzgerald battling Dodge. And this low and in. Three balls and a strike. Fitzgerald just a game ahead of Dodge for that important fourth position. One hopper to Picanso. Sure-handed second baseman fires it over to Duke Stone, and we have done here in the top of the third. Three up, three down go the Rams. one nothing Jackets on the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Need salvage parts for your new or late model car or truck? Then you should call McCarty Auto Parts, where parts arrive daily, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, at their location at 118 Ottawa Hall Road in Hazelhurst. Check out their inventory online 24-7 at McCartyAuto.com. If they don't have the parts you need, they'll find it. Call McCarty Auto Parts in Hazelhurst for all your salvage part needs. 1-800-329-7258. Go Jackets! Make the switch to Mitch. Visit Designs and More by Brandy located inside Mitch's Pharmacy. Brandy offers all occasion flowers, silk, and fresh. Shop Designs and More by Brandy for gift baskets for that special someone, shoes by Corky, and jacket t-shirts for the entire family. Located at 5 East Coffee Street in Hazelhurst, open 9 to 6 Monday through Friday and 9 to 12 on Saturday. Give them a call at 912-699-3784 and follow them on Facebook. Dairy Queen of Hazelhurst takes us to the bottom of the third inning. Jackets up one to nothing. The Jeff Davis walking clinic scoreboard be Jackson Sayer. And we'll go back to the top of the order for Ethan Picanso and Hayden Turner. Sayer takes a strike. Sayer hitting 339, a homer and 14 runs driven in. 
Fouls that one back. Jackson quickly down in the count, 0-2. Carter Galbraith night here at the ballpark is a lot of businesses have chipped in to make up the stairs. Make contributions to Carter's family and giving contributions in terms of home runs and hits, strikeouts. That's filed out of play. Several other things. Part of the proceeds from the Concession stand tonight also going to the Carter Galbraith Fund. We've got a gun rifle going on down below. A little flare out into shallow right field. Right fielder coming on and makes a catch as he slides to his knees. Nice play there by Fox out in right field to Rob Sayer of a hit. One away, and we'll go back to Ethan Picanso, who popped second. Outside for ball one. Avery Kilcrease has gone the distance so far for the Rams. It's only given up one hit, but the Jackets used a walk to cash in a run. That's a fly ball to center field. Center fielder Etheridge will drift over about four or five steps. And there's two gone. Hayden Turner will bat. Hayden Turner walked and came around to score on Alex Mason's two-out RBI single. It's in the dirt for ball one. Nobody on two outs. Jackets up, one nothing. The Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Check that on the Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard. Thank our sponsors, Cypress Hill Tent Shop, McCarty Auto Parts, and Three Rivers Meat Company. It's another pitch low and in. 2-0 and oh the count. Thank you, everyone. Join us on our Beasley Group live stream. 3-0. and oh. He walked Turner on four pitches in the first. Let's see if he can walk him on two again here. On four again. That's a strike as Hayden's taking all the way. Three and one. Nobody on two outs. Jackets with a one-run lead. There's a second walk for Turner. Puts him aboard with two outs for Duke Stone, who flew out to right field. Now by number seven, Duke Stone. On Tuesday, Duke struck out the first two times he came to the plate and then hit a, a three-run and a solo homer to finish up. Oh, wow. Close, close play at first. Almost caught Turner with too big of a lead. Good move by Kilcrease. Rams thought they had him. As a fly ball into the gap in right center. Nobody's going to get there. It's all the way to the wall. They're going to wave Turner around all the way from first. There'll be no third to the plate. Duke Stone with the RBI double. And the Jackets go up two to nothing. Turner off as soon as the crack of the bat, and he scored easily from first base. Another big two-out RBI hit for the Jackets. Two-nothing now on the Jeptos Walking Clinic scoreboard. Alex Mason had the two-out RBI hit in the first. Stones at second with two outs. Call strike. Nothing and one to Alex. Jackets did a lot of damage against Worth on Tuesday with two outs. Missed low and away. One ball, one strike. The six runs they scored in the fifth, those all came after two outs. Nobody on in two outs, and the Jackets put six on the board. 
Call strike on the outside corner. It's one and two. So Kilcrease a pitch away from not allowing any further damage here in the third. The one two. Alex spoiled it. Count remains one and two. Coach Roger Mitz down at first base. In the first base coach's box today. The one two to Mason. In the dirt, blocked by Weaver, keeps Stone at second. And the count evens at two and two. See our JD for KG logo there on our score bug. We're also honoring Carter Gavith. Well, we sure is some great news seeing the pictures we've seen of Carter and his recovery, and I hope he's got a chance to watch and listen in this afternoon, and we wish you to get back home to us quick, Carter. 2-2. Down low. That one does. Oh, wait. The throw down to third is not in time. On right between the catcher's legs, but by the time he got it, a good break there by Deep Stone. He takes third on the pass ball. Count now full, three balls, two strikes to Alex Mason. Lifted in there on the right side. First baseman drifting into foul territory. Second baseman, though, dropped it. But it's a, in foul territory. So an error on the second baseman. It keeps the inning alive. So Stone will return to third, and Mason will come back to the plate. Count stays full at three and two after the error. Got him swinging on the pitch up and away. Third strikeout for Kilcrease, but the Jackets pick up a run on one hit. No errors, one left. We played three. Jackets up, two nothing. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Williams Brothers Trucking is now hiring qualified CDL Class A licensed drivers with at least two years over-the-road tractor-trailer experience. Williams Brothers Trucking has an excellent benefits package. They have quarterly bonuses. They have great insurance. They offer flexibility as far as your work schedule. Um, you're not really pressured into starting at any certain time throughout the day. Be home every day with family-owned and operated Williams Brothers Trucking. Apply now online. Go Jackets! At Altima Hall Bank & Trust, we strive to help you live your best life. That means offering loans for nearly any dream or goal. With competitive rates, local processing, and quick decisions, we can customize a loan to fit your needs. This is Misty Boatwright, Relationship Manager at the Hazelhurst Bridge. Come see me today at 57 North Tallahassee Street or visit our website at altimahall.bank. And let's work together to achieve your financial goals. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Derek Queen of Hazers takes us to the top of the fourth inning. Jackets lead it 2 0 on the Jeff Davis Walk In Clinic scoreboard. And she's got a message from Carter Galbraith's mom, Wendy. She said they are tuned in and watching up there in Atlanta this afternoon. And we're trying to win one for Carter here. Luke Smith, Coy Etheridge, and Owen Fletcher. Do up. Actually, we're going to try to win two for him today. That would be sweet. Fouled off at the plate, nothing in one. Well, just so Wendy and Carter, all y'all know, we're all still praying for you down here, so hurry up and get back home to see us. Nothing in one, the count to Smith. Swing and a miss, chased a pitch down in the zone. 0 and 2.
up the stairs just a little bit. Tried to get him to chase up there on the 0-2 count. Alex has not given up a hit. Just off the outer edge to the lefty. Two and two. Did have one runner reach on an error. The 2-2 pitch. It's fouled out of play. Alex is 6'4", 200-plus pound right-hander. Misses inside. 89 miles an hour on that pitch down and in. Count full, three and two. Smith climbs back in the box. He grounded out to second his first time up. Doing a big hop out to short on two hops. Saunders with that rocket arm fires him out easily. There's one away. I tell you what, Eli's got a cannon out there at shortstop. I bring Corey Ethers to the plate who popped up back at the mound. I thank everyone that's joining us in on our Beasley Group live stream. We sure do appreciate the fine sponsorship from the Beasley Group, all of our fine sponsors. All speed pitch misses down low, I guess. Look like a pretty good pitch from here. We're in the press box, and the guy in the blue shirt's got a better look than we do. That one does his low, 2 and 0. Oh. Nobody on, one out. We're in the top of the fourth inning. Jackets up two to nothing in this first of two today. Has a strike on the outside corner. And continuing the battle for a region championship. Jackets a leg up after winning on Tuesday. It's fouled out of play, and the count evens at two and two. Worth led that game on Tuesday two nothing. After one, Jackets. Chipped away and got it tied at two and two, and then exploded for a six run inning. Call strike three at the knees. That's two away. Third strikeout for Alex Mason, and that'll bring Owen Fletcher to the plate. Fletcher flied out to center his first time up. Nobody on two outs. Jackets up by two. It's fouled out of play. He's Rams are taking some really defensive late swings against Mason. His ball must have a lot of movement on it today. Miss low, off speed at 79. Count even at a ball and a strike. Grounded towards first. Duke Stone waits on it. Jogs to the bag. Three up, three down go the Rams here in the fourth. We move on to the bottom half of the fourth inning. Jackets up two to nothing. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Dairy Queen of Hazelhurst is proud to sponsor Jeff Davis Athletics. Whether you're celebrating a victory or cheering on your favorite team, DQ Hazelhurst is the ultimate destination for post-game happiness. Fuel your winning spirit with our mouth-watering grill burgers and cool off with our signature soft-serve ice cream. The perfect way to celebrate every triumph on and off the field. Make Dairy Queen Hazelhurst your post-game tradition because in Hazelhurst, we know how to score big on flavor and fun. Go Make tailgating easy and delicious with help from Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. Three Rivers Meat Company offers specialty cuts of beef, pork, chicken, and seafood. They also have several types of the in-house made fresh sausage. If you need a grill, they're an exclusive dealer for Traeger Grills in Hazelhurst. To place your order in advance, call 
888-9621 or visit their beautiful meat counter at 90 West Coffee Street. Go Jackets from Derek Wooten and the Meat Professionals at Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. Fine folks at Hazelhurst Dairy Queen take us to the bottom of the fourth inning. Jackets up two to nothing on the Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard. Carter Mullis, Trayton Webster, and Jude Worthington. Five, six, seven in the batting order for the Jackets will start us off. Carter struck out his first time up. Avery Kilcrease gone the distance. Paints the outside corner with a strike. So there's been no EP American footwear pitching changes to this point. Both starting pitchers still in the game. Call strike inside corner. Carter quickly behind 0-2. Takes that one outside. Ball in two strikes. Week 8 baseball pole. 2-2. Two and two. North Cobb Christian continues to lead. Mount Perrin is in second place. Worth County Checked in at number three, so you got a battle of three versus six today. That's fouled out of play. Carter stays alive. Aplin County, the Pirates at number four. Redan at five. Jeff Davis checking in at six. Then comes Callaway, Rockmart, Model, and Washington County rounding out the top ten. Checked his swing on a pitch down in the dirt. So Carter, after falling behind 0-2, has worked the count full, leading off here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Appreciate our alumni sponsors. You see scrolling across the bottom of our score bug there. That's foul back. Maybe we can start them scrolling now. I didn't know they had paused on us. There we go. Another pitch fouled off by Mullis. He's staying in the battle here. Another, he'll be doing another payoff pitch. Almost hit him inside, and that's a leadoff walk. Good at bat by Carter, who was down in the count 0-2. Worked his way on with a walk for Trayton Webster. Webster bounced out to short his first time up. Runner board with nobody out. Trayton shortened a bunt, but the pitch was way up and away. Webster left-handed batter. Gilcrease throws from the right side. The stretch and the pitch. Again, pulled the bunt back and took it low and away. 2-0. and oh. Third baseman Saunders, Smith rather, rather, charging hard in. McDonald holding the run at first, just kind of hanging back there. Swinging away, and that's pop foul and out of play on the left side. See if Coach Glass puts the bunt back on here. Two and oh, two and one the count to Webster. He does show bunt. Good bunt. Third baseman's gonna have to hurry. He picks it up. High throw to first. He's safe. And the Worth County coach is gonna come out. The first baseman claiming he got the tag on him on the way by. Coach Smith going to head out to talk to the base umpire. And they're going to have a conference with the home plate umpire. It was a bang, bang, play. Let's see if did we catch that on the bunk case or since the replay. We'll take a look. Here. Yeah, that's a good bunt. Running, throwing to first. High throw. I don't believe he tagged him. He may have snuck it. Thinks he's got his back foot in there on the bag right before Webster got there. 
he's got a he got an argument to make, and they're taking a long time to talk it over. And he's safe. So give Webster a sacrifice. He's going to reach on the throwing error. So two on, nobody out for Jude Worthington, who struck out his first time up. Mullis at second, Webster at first. So you got good speed out on the base pass. Jacket's trying to. Add on here in the fourth to a two-run lead. Now we're ready to go. Worthington shows Bunny gets a bunt. It's foul. First and second, nobody out. Again showing bunt. Good bunt right back to the pitcher. Going to try to go to third. Everybody's safe. I'll give Worthington a sacrifice and reaching on a fielder's choice. Bases are full of jackets with nobody out for Eli Saunders. Eli, as we said, average is not where he wants it at 212, but he's done damages. He's driven in 12 runs. Well, chance for him to do more damage, Worth County is going to bring the infield in all the way around. Bases loaded, nobody out. Up and away for ball one. Jackets up 2 0 on the Jeff Davis Walk In Clinic scoreboard. Trying to break the game open here in the fourth inning. 2-0. and oh. You wouldn't really try a squeeze play here because there's a force at home. But they're going to let Eli swing away, but he's a pitch away from driving another run in with three balls, no strikes. Nowhere to put Eli Saunders. Catcher Weaver out. Quick word for his pitcher, Kilcrease. Now, Fletcher and Rogers, middle infielders, come in also with some encouragement. Three balls, no strikes. Bases loaded, nobody out in a two run ball game here. The 3 0 pitch caught the inside corner. Eli taking all the way. Now he's ready. He's got the count in his favor, three and one. Swing and a miss. Now you got to really bear down, try to put the ball in place somewhere. Three and two. Pop foul out of play. Eli staying alive. See how the Rams have got everybody right in on the edge of the grass. Again, that's foul right side. First baseman over, and that's going to drift out of play. Eli continues the at bat. Battling here. Count remains three and two. Nobody out. Jackets trying to add to a 2 0 lead here. The payoff pitch. One hopper back to the pitcher. They go home for one. Did they get him? The catcher had to stretch for the wide throw, and he finally managed to reach back and get the plate just before 
Mullis slid in. One, two on the put out at home. Webster's going to move to third, Worthington to second. Saunders reaches on the fielder's choice. So one away, and bases are still loaded. And Coach Smith back out of the dugout. No EP American footwear pitching change here. As Jackson Sayer, who's done a lot of damage in that number nine hole, will step in with bases loaded, one out, a fly ball. Will get you a run here as Webster's now at third. Worthington at second. Eli Saunders at first. Again, the infield comes in. Inside for ball one. Jackets two, Rams nothing on the Jeff Davis walk-in clinic scoreboard. Jeff Davis trying to break it open. Call strike. One ball, one strike, the count. Say you're one of the seniors on this team. Swings and misses at a pitch up high. Kilcrease battling. Got to force it home to keep it a 2 nothing game. Now he's ahead in the count here. Right back up. Miller's going to come back home again for one. Catcher drops and the run scores. The throw handcuffed the catcher. But Webster's going to come in to score to make it 3 nothing. On the error, Sayers going to reach on the fielder's choice. Bases are still loaded. Has a drive into left field. Left fielder chasing it down. He's not going to get there. One run's going to score. Two's going to score. Throw's going to come into third. A two-run double by Ethan Pekins on the first pitch he saw. And Jackets now lead it five to nothing. Hayden Turner will now bat with second and third one out. Five nothing jackets on the Jeff Davis Walk In Clinic scoreboard. Pitches down in the dirt. Trying to tell if that's a five or a six. Hopefully I didn't go too far with the score. Yep, it's five. So you got Sayer at third and Picanto at second. Right back up the middle to drawn in infield. That's going to score one. It comes Ethan to the plate. The throw in is not in time. Throw to second, not in time. Two run single by Hayden Turner. That's a case where the drawn in infield hurts you. It's now seven to nothing. Jackets have broke the game open here in the fourth inning. They'll bring Duke Stone to the plate. Runner at second, one out, and that's going to get Coach Smith back out of the dugout and maybe about to get a EP American footwear pitching change. Got somebody throwing down in the bullpen. It's his second mound visit this inning, so I think he does have to make a move here. Home plate umpire letting the meeting go on as all the Rams from the infield gathered on the pitching mound. Well, he's going to stay with Kilcrease. Okay. Duke Stone will be the batter. Duke is one for two with an RBI double. Picanso's driven in two. Turner's driven in two. Turner took second after the throw to the plate. Let's 
Seven nothing jackets on the Jeff Davis Walker and Clinic scoreboard. Five so far in fifth, just one out. Big cut. Duke Stone at a Williams Brothers Trucking Company home run cut, but came up empty. Nothing in one. Hit two homers on Tuesday. Got six on the season. Pitches low in the dirt. One ball, one strike. Big crowd here at the ballpark. Nice crowd tuning in on the Beasley Group live stream. Another good take by Duke. It's two and one. Both teams entered the week undefeated in region play. Jackets. A win on Tuesday, 11 to three. Now up by seven here today to trying to win a region championship. That's fouled off. Count evens at two and two. Bacon and Irwin playing a doubleheader day in other area action. By day is at Toombs, a rubber match of that series, each team with a win. Pierce trying to sweep Appling at Appling today. Benedictine and Wayne, a rubber match of their series at Wayne County. Three and two now the count to Duke. They have split their first two games. Swing and a miss. Duke chased one up and out of the strike zone. Strike out number four for Gil- Kilcrease. Two away for Alex Mason. The Jackets have batted around here in the fourth inning. Scoring five runs. Runner at second with two outs. Mason is one for two. Couldn't check his swing on a pitch up high. Nothing in one. High chop to short. Short stop charges. Can't get it. Going to get through into center field, and Turner's going to score to make it eight to nothing. Mason reaches on the error by the shortstop. That'll bring Carter Mullis to the plate. Carter struck out and walked. Camden Mansiah back in to run at first for Mason. Fouled off at the plate. Nothing in one. Jackets eight. Rams nothing. And the Jeff Davis walk in clinic scoreboard. Cook Beach Fitzgerald 14 to 4 yesterday, or Wednesday rather, Tuesday. Cook swept a double header from Fitzgerald. Both Games were 6 1 scores. Barron defeated Sumter 12 0. Wayne beat Benedictine 1 0 on Tuesday. And on Wednesday, they fell to Benedictine by a score of 8 to 7. It's foul back. Nothing in two, the count to Mullis. Pierce beat Applin 3-2 on Tuesday and then again 8-4 on Wednesday, I believe it was. Tombs over Vidalia 10-3 on Wednesday. Runner goes. The pitch is high. The throw down. Safe. Oh, wow. We may have gotten a tremendous break right there. He looked out to me, but Coach Smith. Yeah, yeah, let's see if we may have that on the bank case or sense to replay. Well, just right at the tail end. Unless he just missed the swipe tag. Second baseman thought he had him. 
A ball and two strikes. The count to Carter Mullis now with a runner at second. Two outs. So give mate give Mansack a stolen base. Swing and a miss. That'll do it here in the fourth inning. But the Jackets have a big inning. Pick up six runs and lead it eight to nothing. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. The Bank of Hazelhurst is Jeff Davis County's only locally owned and operated bank, serving their friends and family since 1906. They offer a wide array of services, including personal, commercial, and electronic banking services, along with mortgage and ag lending. For more information on the services they offer, call them at 912-375-4228. Download their banking app or contact them online at bankofhazelhurst.com. The Bank of Hazelhurst. When others have their branches, they have their roots. Since their founding in 1968, the Beasley Group has become a vertically integrated leader in the forest products industry, and this growth has made them the largest hardwood sawmill in the United States and North America's foremost producer of crane mats and timbers for the energy transmission, utility, and construction industries. The Beasley Group is proud to be members of the Hazelhurst and Jeff Davis County community. They are also proud supporters of all Jeff Davis High School sports. Go Jackets from the Beasley Group. Hazelhurst Dairy Queen leads us into the top of the fifth inning. Alex Mason climbs back up on the hill now with a big lead. Jackets up 8-0 on the Jeff Davis walk-in clinic scoreboard. Rogers Ellis McDonald, 5-6-7 in the batting order. High chop to Picanso. Backs up, takes the second medium-sized hop, and throws him out at first. Good play by the savvy second baseman, Showed all his senior experience. He didn't come charging in on that big hop. He backed up and took a couple of steps back and waited for that middle-sized hop that followed and made a strong throw to first. One pitch, one out. I'll bring Ellis up, who reached on an error. He's the only base runner for the Rams so far as Alex Mason is not allowed to hit. 2-0. Since that era, he's retired eight in a row. Swing and a miss. 88 miles an hour. Down and away. Breeze still blowing left to right here this afternoon. That's fouled out of play. Count evens up at 2-2. First of a double header here today. As we'll have about a 30 minute break in between. And then come back with the nightcap. Down low. Count full three and two. I got that Mason unofficially at 61 pitches. So he should have a lot of gas left in tank. There's a hard shot out towards Picanso again. Second, 4-3 put out of the inning. Two gone. Christian McDonald is also grounded to second his first time up. Left-handed batter will step in. Nobody on in two outs. Jackets lead it 8 nothing. Top of the fifth inning. Fouled out of play on the left side. Worse. Been making contact against Alex. He's only got three strikeouts through four and two thirds. Swing and a miss. That's some high heat. He came in averaging almost two strikeouts an inning. No two. Got him. All speed pitch. There's strikeout number four. Mason, three up, three down. Go the Rams here in the fifth inning. 
Jackets up eight to nothing on the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. CNH Creative Flooring can make your floors beautiful. They are this area's foremost experts when it comes to concrete grinding, polishing, crack repair, and epoxy coatings. They offer hundreds of color epoxy flake systems to choose from, custom metallics, neat coats, inlaid emblems, and much more. Whether it's your home, garage, man cave, pool deck, sidewalks, porches, or carport, let us help you make it gorgeous, safe, colorful, and skid resistant. Call Daryl Hutto at 912-381-9037 or Cody Carter at 912-592-5493 or message them on Facebook. Cypress Hill Tent Shop, located in Graham, Georgia, offers tenting solutions for every need. Sunroofs, tent matching, removal of old tent, and new installation using state-of-the-art equipment and machines. Cypress Hill Tent Shop uses a union tent, guaranteed not to bubble, fade, or discolor over time, and offers both carbon and ceramic tent options. Tent protects the inside of your vehicle and keeps the inside cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. We also offer pickup and drop-off options for your convenience. Call us today. Go Jackets! Jerry Queen of Hazelhurst takes us to the bottom of the fifth inning. Jackets up big, eight to nothing on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. The Webster, Worthington, and Saunders. Six, seven, eight in the batting order for the Yellow Jackets. New pitcher on the mound. On the mound for County, 14, so EP American Nelson, footwear pitching Davis. change for the Rams. Cully Henley, I believe, is the new pitcher. He misses upstairs for ball one to Webster, who's grounded out, reached on an error. Popped up. Right field drifting over towards center. He's got it. There's the first out of the inning. I bring Jude Worthing to the plate. Jude is 0 for 2. Did reach on the fielder's choice and score. Up and in for ball one. Gilchrist goes four innings, allows four hits, eight runs, three walks, five strikeouts. Down low, 2 and 0. His defense. Kind of gave way with four errors. Call strike on the outside corner. Out of play. Count goes to two and two. Nobody on one out for the Jackets here in the fifth inning. Breaking ball drops in there. And Worthington's caught looking. First struck out for Henley. Bring Eli Saunders to the plate. Nobody on two outs. Eli's. Also 0 for 2, reached on the fielder's choice and scored. Call strike on an off-speed pitch at 69 miles an hour. The 0-1. 75, but up and away. In there, a right-hander. Rounded on the left side, shortstop, backhanded pick up right at the edge of the grass. Long throw in time. And the Jackets go three up, three down here in the fifth inning. 
We've got five in the books. Jackets lead it 8 nothing. It's the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. EP American Footwear in Hazelhurst is proud to be a part of the Hazelhurst Jeff Davis community and are proud sponsors of all Jeff Davis County sports. If you're looking for a great job with a great company, they are hiring for all shifts. You can apply in person Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, at 10 North Hill Street in Hazelhurst. Go Jackets from all the folks at EP American Footwear of Hazelhurst. Go Jackets! Your eyes are your window to the world around you, and good vision is important to everyone. At Southern Eye Care, you can count on their expertise in treating all types of vision problems to help you see your best. From glasses to contact lenses, from surgical vision correction to treatment of eye disease and injury, their team is here to help take care of your eyes. Your vision matters at Southern Eye Care in Hazelhurst. Call them for an appointment at 912-375-2516 or visit them online at southerneyecarepc.com. So it doesn't look like it. Hey, Sir Derek Queen tells us that we got five in the books. Eight runs, four hits, one error for the Jackets. No runs, no hits, four errors for the Rams. Weaver, Fox, and Kilcrease to face Alex Mason. He misses with the first pitch for a ball. Weaver struck out his first time up. Fouls that one out of play. Count even at a ball and a strike. I believe Cannon Monsiak has checked in, played left field in place of Jude Worthington. It's another foul out of play. One and two. Mason at 68 pitches. Unofficially, not allowed a hit. One that runner reached, reached on an error. Now it's going to take a step off the mound. Thank you. A ball and two strikes to Weaver. It's going to, it's going to be the first hit of the game for the Rams. Weaver, a clean single right up the middle. He's on with nobody out for Logan Fox. Get a courtesy runner for the catcher. Be Aiden Short. So shorts at first with nobody out for the Rams They're trying to fight their way back in this one. Jackets up 8 nothing on the Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard. 88 miles an hour at the knees for a call strike. Fox grounded to short his first time up. Just a sharply hit ball to short in a 6-4-3 double play. Wide and a good stopped by Dylan Carelock. Had to dive behind the left-handed batter's box. Flag that one down and keep the runner at first. Into right field. Turner battling the sun makes the catch. Had to throw his mid up and use that to shade it off and kind of played it off to the side. They didn't get directly in the sun. One on, one out for Kilcrease, who's 0 for 2. Throw to first. Run goes back in standing, which made it a closer play than it should have been. Hello. One ball, no strikes. Mason from the stretch. That's going to get through the left side for a base hit. So two hits in the inning 
for the Rams. They've got first and second with one out. Bring up Luke Smith, who's 0 for 2. Worth County. That's going to get pitching coach Cody Ogilvy out of the dugout. Worth County down eight, and it's Jackets have only had four hits, but Worth committed four errors to help our cause. And now Worth County, though, trying to battle back. They got two on with one out. Two, three, four in the batting order coming up. Okaby finishes up his meeting with Alex and Dylan. Smith will step in. He said 0 for 2, left-handed batter. Hits with two on and just one out. Call strike, letter high. Runners get the lead at first and second. Outside, one ball, one strike. Stone holding the runner at first, so that leaves a bigger hole on the right side of the infield for the left-handed batter. Wow, not sure why that one missed. First pitch of this at bat, that was a strike. Two and one the count. The stretch and the pitch. Call strike. I think he made us up right there as that pitch was low. Two and two the count. See if Alex can rally and get him here. Smith's going to ask for time. Step out. First of two today. We will not have interviews on our Southern Eye Care postgame show after game one. Stay tuned after game two for that. Call strike three. Got him with an off-speed pitch. It's a big strikeout for Mason. This number five. I'll bring Etheridge to the plate. Etheridge is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Now batting, number seven, Corey Etheridge. Two on, two outs. Mason comes set at the belt. Breaking ball, call strike. On the stretch, the 0-1, fastball, miss low. One and one. Etheridge, right-handed batter, holds the bat high, got bright pink batting gloves, throw back to second. Weaver sneaks back in just under the tag from Eli Saunders. A 1-1. Missed high. 2-1. 82 pitches unofficially for Alex. No activity in the Yellow Jacket bullpen. High and tight, little chin music. But it was called a strike. Breaking ball that had him backing out of the box. Two balls and two strikes. That missed wide. Count full three and two. Two on, two outs. Mason trying to 
get out of a jam here in the sixth inning, keep the shutout intact. Runners will be off and running on the 3-2 pitch. Oh, if they'd had anybody sneaking in behind second, they'd have had the guy picked off at second. So Alex started his motion and then turned and looked him back. A 3-2, runners go, fouled off. Count stays full. Runners return to first and second. Worth picked up their first two hits of the game this inning. Weaver a leadoff single. Kilcrease a one-out single. They're at first and second, they're now two outs. Jackets up 8-0 on the Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard. Again, a bluff back towards second. This time, Weaver was did not break. Well, that's a drive into right center field. That's going to get down. That's going to score two. A double for Etheridge and Worth County's on the board. Makes it eight to two, Jackets. A runner at second with two outs for Fletcher, who's 0 for two. So three hits in the inning for the Rams. I've got them on the board. It's now. Just a six-run lead for the Jackets. Fletcher's going to ask for time. Unofficially, I've got Alex at 86 pitches. Go back to second, goes into center field. The runner diving back. Have some movement down in the bullpen. Swing and a miss. Good hard strike there by Mason. Gets ahead in the count, one to no. Fletcher, the cleanup hitter for the Rams. Call strike at the knees at 87. 0-2. 0-2. Mason, the GSU eagle to be, fires just off the outer edge. It went 88, but a little bit wide. Count is 1-2. Tried to get Etheridge to, or Fletcher rather, to expand his strike zone. A 1-2 pitch. Fouled off to the right. Count remains one and two. The stretch, the one, two. Swing and a miss. Nasty pitch there from Alex. Let's check that on the back of Hazel Sense to replay. Watch this nasty breaking ball from Mason that gets the strike out to end the inning. Jackets lead it 8-2 to two as we go to the bottom of the six on the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Experience a better way to bank at Interstate Credit Union in Hazelhurst, where they offer a wide variety of loans. Interstate Credit Union is second to none when it comes to low rates and great customer service, specializing in personal loans, new home and construction loans, and automobile loans, as well as many other types. Their broad services include personal checking, savings, business, in-person, online, and mobile banking, and much, much more. Visit them at 14 Henson Street or call 912-375-0640, or you can contact them online at interstatecu.org. 
Jeff Davis Hospital in Hazelhurst, we are committed to building a healthy community. We use the latest technology and our knowledgeable team members provide exceptional state-of-the-art care to our local community and surrounding areas. We provide a respectful understanding of care for our patients and their loved ones. For more information about Jeff Davis Hospital and the services we provide, call 912-375-7781 or visit us online at jeffdavishospital.org. Dairy Queen of Hazelhurst takes us to the bottom of the six. Nine, one, two in the batting order for the Jackets. Sayer, Picanso, and Turner. Sayer tries to sneak a bunt. But fouls it back. He's trying to push that bunt out past the right side of the pitcher's mound. had both infielders on that side playing back. Now the first baseman's going to creep in right at the edge of the grass. Call strike on the outside corner at 73. Nothing in two the count. Sayers 0 for 2, reached on the fielder's choice and scored. In that big fourth inning for the Jackets. Pop foul right side out of play. Count remains 0 and 2. First of two today. Jackets trying to win the series here. They won on Tuesday. Be no interviews after game one on the Southern Eye Care post game show. A little soft fly ball into right field. Right fielder makes the catch. One away. Bring up Ethan Picanso's one for three, a two run double. He's also came he also came around to score in that. Fourth inning, Jackets put six on the board. Upstairs for ball one. Ethan's done a great job in that leadoff spot this year. Checked his swing and pitch at 75. Was wide. Nobody on one out. Chop foul, third base side. And solid defense at second base and will make the turn on the double play as, about as quick as any high school player I've seen. Call strike inside corner, curve ball at 64. Ems a count at two and two. Miss low and away. Count full, three balls, two strikes. Bases clear with one out here in the six. Ethan waits. Right back where it came from, into center field. Canto picks up his second hit of the day. He's aboard for Hayden Turner. Turner's walked twice, singled, scored three times, and driven in two. Well, Turner, big day at the plate here in game one. Call strike on the outside corner at 73. Henley's not throwing hard, but he's keeps it pretty much out of the middle of the plate. That's going to get through into left field for a base hit. Hayden Turner, a little soft liner through the left side. Back-to-back one-out hits for the Jackets. Two on, one out. But Duke Stone, who's got a double in two trips and an RBI. Double in three trips, rather. They could get one up in that wind going the opposite way. 
upstairs for ball one. He might pick up his seventh Williams Brothers Trucking Company home run of the season. Wind blowing left to right. That hit him to load the bases. So they're loaded up for Alex Mason. Mason is single, drove in a run, struck out, and reached on an error. Popped up. First baseman's going to call for it. Makes the catch. Two away for Carter Mullis. Willis is 0 for 2 with a walk. A couple of strikeouts. The base is full of jackets with two outs. A little more insurance here wouldn't hurt. Up and in for ball one. Carter's been swinging a hot bat. Got his average up over 400. 2-0. Picanso at third, Turner at second, Stone at first. There are two outs. Jackets up 8-2 to two on the Jeff Davis walk-in clean at scoreboard. Carter had a big cut, but comes up empty. It's 2-1. Wind in the pitch, swing and a miss. 73 up above the letters. Count even at two and two. Carter digs in now, really got a battle. Hit in there on the right side, first baseman, just in foul territory, makes the catch. Jackets load him up, but failed to score here in the six. Go to the seventh inning. Got to hold them, Jackets. Jeff Davis, eight. Worth County, two. 60 seconds on the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Dr. Kurt Munsiak and his staff at the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic have proudly served this community as the original walk-in clinic for your sick visit needs and as volunteer sports medicine for all our Jeff Davis athletics since 2014. Whether at the clinic, on the sidelines, courtside, mat side, or on the diamond, Dr. Kirk is always ready to help. Give him a call at 912-375-4884 or pop in at 22 Cross Street in Hazelhurst behind Jeff Davis Hospital. God bless and go Jackets from the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic. Need salvage parts for your new or late model car or truck? Then you should call McCarty Auto Parts where parts arrive daily Monday through Friday 8 to 5 at their location at 118 Automaha Road in Hazelhurst. Check out their inventory online 24-7 at McCartyAuto.com. If they don't have the parts you need, they'll find it. Call McCarty Auto Parts in Hazelhurst for all your salvage part needs. 1-800-329-7258. Go Jackets. Hazelhurst takes us to the top of the seventh inning. Jackets up 8-2 on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. The Rogers Ellis McDonald, 5-6-7 in the lineup for the Rams. Jackets trying to win the series here after winning 11-3 on Tuesday. Mason still on the mound. Fires a strike at 87 miles an hour. Andrew White getting ready down in the bullpen just in case. Has a line drive into left field. Mansayak on the run makes a nice running catch. Hard hit ball, but Jacket defense makes the play, and there's a big first out here in the seventh. Waylon Ellis. So for two, did reach on an error. Got unofficially Alex Mason at 93 pitches. There's a call strike, 88 miles an hour. He still, velocity-wise, still got gas in the tank. Trying to go the distance here. That's up and away. 
White came on and slammed the door on Worth Tuesday. Just missed outside. Two balls, one strike. So that's a call strike. Two and two. The stretch and the pitch. Fouled out of play. And it stays two and two. Bases empty, one out for the Rams in the top of the seventh inning. Missed in the dirt. Next pitch by Alex going to be number 100 unofficially. Count full, three and two. The stretch, the 3 2. Missed up high. So one on, one out. McDonald's is 0 for 2. Bill and Kerlock out to talk things over. I saw Coach Glass talking with Alex right before. Before the inning started, now he's making his way to the mound, and we may be about to get a EP American Footwear pitching change. Alex Mason has gone six and a third, unofficially at 100 pitches, and that is going to be an EP American Footwear pitching change. Let's take a break. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Make the switch to Mitch. Visit Designs and More by Brandy, located inside Mitch's Pharmacy. Brandy offers all occasion flowers, silk, and fresh. Shop Designs and More by Brandy for gift baskets for that special someone, shoes by Corky, and jacket t-shirts for the entire family. Located at 5 East Coffee Street in Hazelhurst, open 9 to 6 Monday through Friday and 9 to 12 on Saturday. Give them a call at 912-699-3784 and follow them on Facebook. Williams Brothers Trucking is now hiring qualified CDL Class A licensed drivers with at least two years over-the-road tractor-trailer experience. Williams Brothers Trucking has an excellent benefits package. They have quarterly bonuses. They have great insurance. They offer flexibility as far as your work schedule. Um, you're not really pressured into starting at any certain time throughout the day. Be home every day with family-owned and operated Williams Brothers Trucking. Apply now online. Go Jackets! At Altima Hall Bank & Trust, we strive to help you live your best life. That means offering loans for nearly any dream or goal. With competitive rates, local processing, and quick decisions, we can customize a loan to fit your needs. This is Misty Boatwright, Relationship Manager at the Hazelhurst Bridge. Come see me today at 57 North Tallahassee Street or visit our website at altimahall.bank. And let's work together to achieve your financial goals. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. EP American Footwear Pitching Change brings Trayton Webster to the mound for the Yellow Jackets. Alex Mason goes six and a third, allows three hits, two runs, but the runner at first Belongs to him. No walk, six strikeouts. Webster's 1-0 and in the season. No ERA. is allowed no earned runs in nine innings pitch. Three hits. And ten strikeouts. No walks. So Webster, the left-hander, on in relief of Mason. They'll bring up McDonald, who's 0 for 2. In for a strike, it's 71. Run it first, one out. Webster from the stretch. Oh, they check out to the base umpire who says no swing on the sure did look like he let the bat go around, but it's one and one. The one one pitch. And that right field, that's trouble. 
It stays fair, and it is right down the line and in the corner. Going to hold the runner at third. They'll a double for McDonald. They've got second and third with one out. Weaver's going to come in to bat. Weaver's one for two. Walking a double. Jackets up by six, but worth threatening here in the seventh. Breaking ball in for call strike. Is it 67 miles an hour? Webster comes set, letter high. A couple of looks back to second. Right back where it came from in center field. That's going to score one. They're going to throw up the stop sign on McDonald. That makes it eight to three. Give Weaver an RBI. The Rams have it first and third with one out. And short back in at first run for the catcher. Weaver Fox will come to the plate, who's 0 for 2. That run that scored belongs to Mason, so he gives up three on the day. In for a strike. Eight three jackets on the Jeff Davis Walk In Clinic scoreboard. Breaking ball just missed outside. One ball, one strike. Pops is going to step out. First and third, one out for the Rams. Trying to fight their way back in this thing. High chop, third. I'm going to force it second for one. Relay to first, not in time. A run scores. We get a big out at second. Five, four on the put out there. Put Fox aboard on the fielder's choice and give him an RBI. They'll bring Kilchris, the leadoff batter, back to the plate. He's one for three with a single. One on, two outs. Missed up and away for ball one. Jackets now lead it eight to four. Swing and a miss. On the Jeff Davis walk in, clean it, scoreboard. We will. No, have no interviews after here after game one on the Southern Eye Care post game show. That's fouled off. And the Rams are down to their last strike. One and two the count to kill Crease. Webster from the set. Swing and a miss. But he got no, they say he got a piece of it. Count stays one and two. Webster comes set, delivers. Oh, just missed inside. Count evens at two and two. The stretch, the 2-2 pitch. Breaking ball hitting that in the left field. That's going to fall in. Inning continues. As Kilcrease gets a two-out single. Fox moves to second. Second and third with two outs for Luke Smith. Carelock out it to talk it over with Webster. Smith is 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Now batting, number 
They have left-handed batter and a left-handed pitcher. Eight four jackets. Worth has scored two in the inning and got two on with two outs. Webb's thrown in relief of Mason. Breaking ball in for a call strike. Jackets trying to win this series. Pulled it foul on the left side. He hit it a ton. But way out in front. And that's 0 and 2. Smith back in. Webster trying to close it out for Mason. From the stretch. Oh my goodness. Just off the outer edge. Nice fastball there from Trayton. One ball, two strikes. He did go around that time, and Trayton gets the strike out. He couldn't check his swing, and that's going to be your ball game. Your final score, Jeff Davis, eight, Worth, Worth County, four. We'll be back to total things up on the Southern Eye Care postgame show on, here on the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Dairy Queen of Hazelhurst is proud to sponsor Jeff Davis Athletics. Whether you're celebrating a victory or cheering on your favorite team, DQ Hazelhurst is the ultimate destination for post-game happiness. Fuel your winning spirit with our mouth-watering grill burgers and cool off with our signature soft-serve ice cream. The perfect way to celebrate every triumph on and off the field. Make Dairy Queen Hazelhurst your post-game tradition because in Hazelhurst, we know how to score big on flavor and fun. Go Make tailgating easy and delicious with help from Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. Three Rivers Meat Company offers specialty cuts of beef, pork, chicken, and seafood. They also have several types of the in-house made fresh sausage. If you need a grill, they're the exclusive dealer for Traeger Grills in Hazelhurst. To place your order in advance, call 912-551-9621 or visit their beautiful meat counter at 90 West Coffee Street. Go Jackets from Derek Wooten and the Meat Professionals at Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. The Bank of Hazelhurst is Jeff Davis County's only locally owned and operated bank, serving their friends and family since 1906. They offer a wide array of services, including personal, commercial, and electronic banking services, along with mortgage and ag lending. For more information on the services they offer, call them at 912-375-4228. Download their banking app or contact them online at bankofhazelhurst.com. The Bank of Hazelhurst. When others have their branches, they have their roots. Welcome to the Southern Eye Care post-game show. The Jackets get the win. Worth County made a sweat a little bit there at the end. They scored four runs in the last two innings. Jackets, eight runs, six hits, one error. The Rams, four runs, five hits, four errors. Alex Mason is going to pick up the win. Kilcrease takes the loss for the Rams. Alex now four wins on the season as he pitched six in the third innings, allowed three hits, three runs, no walks, and six strikeouts. So the Jackets have won the series here, winning on Tuesday and then here again in game one. Go for the sweep here in the nightcap. We'll be starting that game around 6.30, according to the word we got. So we got about a little over 30 minutes break here. We're going to leave the live stream up and running right here, and we'll be back with you in about 30 minutes or so. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network.
Welcome back here. We're getting ready to start game two of this doubleheader. Jackets went in the first game eight to one. Defensively for the Jackets, you got Mullis, Webster, Turner in the outfield, Sayers, Saunders, Picanso, Stone around the infield, Carlock behind the plate and on the mound, Colby Beach. First pitch is in there for a strike to Avery Kilcrease. Fast ball at 85, misses outside. Beach, 3-2 and two on the year, 2.55 ERA. 22 innings pitch, 11 hits, 9 runs, 8 earned, 14 walks, 30 strikeouts. There's a call strike. Two balls and one strike. Low and away, 86 on that heater down just outside the strike zone. Kilcrease was two for four in the first game. Call strike three, got him looking. Beach gets a strikeout. That'll bring up Luke Smith. Smith was two for two with a pair of walks in game one. He's on base all four times. He takes the first pitch down low for ball one. Jackets have won the series, winning Tuesday 11 3. Winning game one, eight to four. Swing and a miss. Count evens at a ball and a strike. The Jackets now at 14 and 0 in region play. And Worth is at 13 and two. It's fouled off. Ball and two strikes. Colby, the right-hander, faces the left-handed batter. Misses low and away. Can't even at two and two. Little fastball right on by him at 81. Two gone, two strikeouts for Colby Beach. That'll bring Coy Etheridge to the plate. Etheridge was one for three with a double and two runs driven in. Takes a strike. Down low. One ball, one strike. Swing and a foul tip into the catcher's mitt. It's one and two. back into the screen. Count stays one and two. Nobody on two outs. And a 
One ball, two strike count to Coy Etheridge. Colby Beach, the junior right-hander, also the starting quarterback for the Yellow Jacket football team. Call strike three. Colby Beach strikes out the side, and that's going to end the inning. We'll take a timeout here. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Dairy Queen of Hazers takes us to the bottom of the first inning. No score. Jeff Davis coming into bat. The starting lineup for the Jackets. Ethan Picanso, then Hayden Turner, followed by Duke Stone. Batting cleanup, Alex Mason. Carter Mullis starting in left field will hit fifth. Trayton Webster hits sixth. Batting seventh, the pitcher Colby Beach. Batting eighth, Eli Saunders. And batting ninth, Jackson Sayer. Jackets have, I'm pretty sure. Clinch no worse than second place in the region with that win in game one. Still got three games to play with Berrien next week. Third place right now with his cook with four losses. And the worst Jeff Davis could do would be four losses, which would tie us with tie us with Cook. We own the tiebreaker with him since we swept on it earlier in the year. Nothing in one. Grounded slowly to third. The baseman bobbles it for a second, but gathers it in. Fires a strike across the diamond, and there's one away. I bring Hayden Turner. What is that? Swing and a miss by Turner. Turner was two for two in the first game with two runs driven in. It's down low. Ball and two strikes. Having a little technical difficulties here. Starting game two. That's fouled off at the plate. Count as a ball and two strikes. Fouled off. Count will stay one and two. Nobody on one out. No score. Bottom of the first on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. Tried to check his swing, but he caught the bat. Ha- excuse me, bat handle. Ball and two strikes. Turner fouls off another one. He's got quite a battle going here with the 
the Hornets pitcher. Hit all off the right side. Cat will stay one and two. And then there to right field. Right fielder make the catch. And there's two gone. Bring Dick Stone to the plate. Is one for three for the run batted in. Owen oh, Fletcher is on the mound for the Rams. That hit him. Duke got hit in the first game. He's aboard with two outs. Rylance Mason is one for three with the run driven in. Mason serving as designated hitter here in game two. Pitched a great game in game one. Just kind of pitch count got up there late in the inning, and Trayton Webster to come in and finish it off. It's a high drive to center field. Center fielder circling back, still going back. He can't get in. It's rolling against the wall. Stone is going to score all the way from first. Jackets have taken an early lead here as Alex Mason delivers a RBI double. Check. Let's see that on the jack. Okay, it's our instant replay. Well, we just missed it. I'll bring Carter Mullis to the plate. Froze again. Excuse me, swing a slow roller down to first. First base will pick it up and step on the bag, and that will end the inning. Well, the Jackets pick up a run on one hit. No errors. One left. We played one. Jackets won. Rams nothing. 60-second timeout. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Since their founding in 1968, the Beasley Group has become a vertically integrated leader in the forest products industry, and this growth has made them the largest hardwood sawmill in the United States and North America's foremost producer of crane mats and timbers for the energy transmission, utility, and construction industries. The Beasley Group is proud to be members of the Hazelhurst and Jeff Davis County community. They are also proud supporters of all Jeff Davis High School sports. Go Jackets from the Beasley Group. CNH Creative Flooring can make your floors beautiful. They are this area's foremost experts when it comes to concrete grinding, polishing, crack repair, and epoxy coatings. They offer hundreds of color epoxy flake systems to choose from, custom metallics, neat coats, inlaid emblems, and much more. Whether it's your home, garage, man cave, pool deck, sidewalks, porches, or carport, let us help you make it gorgeous, safe, colorful, and skid resistant. Call Daryl Hutto at 912-381-9037 or Cody Carter at 912-592-5493 or message them on Facebook. Dairy Queen of Hazlers takes us to the top of inning two. Jackets lead at one nothing on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. And we can get our scorebook bug back up and working here. So Owen Fletcher will lead it off. Takes the first pitch for a strike. Swing and a miss. It's Owen two. A 
that mess low and away. Miss down low. Two balls and two strikes. So we're working to try to get our school bug back up and going. Hit off the end of the bat towards first. Stone's going to field it and run to the bag. There's one away. And bring Luke Rogers to the plate. Ball one. Has a strike. One ball, one strike. This this thing right here. Call strike on the outside corner. It's one and two. So I don't I'm not getting internet from here. Fouled off. All right, I've got, I've got the connection back. Got it. One ball, two strikes on Rogers. Jackets up, one nothing on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. Ball's in the dirt. Count goes to two and two. Nobody on one out. We got our score bug back up and working now. We appreciate all of our alumni sponsors that you see scrolling across the bottom of the score bug. And you see the JD for KG logo off to the on the right on the left side of the bug. Carter Graham not here at the ballpark. That's fouled off. Jackets going for the sweep. Here in second, second game of this doubleheader, the nightcap. One, game one, eight to four, winning Tuesday by a score of 11 to three. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Got a piece out to stay alive. Two balls, two strikes. Ripped in the left field. There's a base hit. Mullis is going to get to it quickly. Going to hold Rogers to a single. Puts him aboard with one out. Bring up Layla Nellis. So one on, one out for the Rams. Beach steps off. Ellis was 0 for 2. He did walk and score a run. Call strike on the outside corner at 84. Colby's going to be mid-80s, sometimes reach upper 80s. 
And when his off-speed pitches are working, it makes his fastball play faster. Missed low and away with the heater. One and one. Beat from the stretch, set at the belt. Fly ball center field. Trayton Webster on the run. He's got it. And there's two gone. Bring up Christian McDonald. Two on, two out, and a runner at first. McDonald had a double in three trips in game one. Swings and misses a strike one. Shadows beginning to creep across the infield on our Mitch's Pharmacy field condition report. But it's been a beautiful day for baseball. Call strike two, off speed at 78. Beach checks the runner at first. Call strike three. Painted the outside corner with a good hard heater. Beach picks up his fourth strikeout. That's going to end the inning. Jackets lead at one nothing as we go to the bottom of the second on the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Cypress Hill Tent Shop, located in Graham, Georgia, offers tenting solutions for every need. Sunroofs, tent matching, removal of old tent, and new installation using state-of-the-art equipment and machines. Cypress Hill Tent Shop uses a union tent guaranteed not to bubble, fade, or discolor over time and offers both carbon and ceramic tent options. Tent protects the inside of your vehicle and keeps the inside cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. We also offer pickup and drop-off options for your convenience. Call us today. Go Jacket! EP American Footwear in Hazelhurst is proud to be a part of the Hazelhurst Jeff Davis community and are proud sponsors of all Jeff Davis County sports. If you're looking for a great job with a great company, they are hiring for all shifts. You can apply in person Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 at 10 North Hill Street in Hazelhurst. Go Jackets from all the folks at EP American Footwear of Hazelhurst. Go Jackets! Derek Quinn of Hastings takes us to the bottom of the second inning. No jackets lead it by a run, one nothing on the Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard. Trayton Webster, Colby Beach, and Eli Saunders will be due up. Trayton Webster was 0 for 3 in game one, but he did score a run. Jackets trying to sweep the doubleheader and the series from Worth. Strike on the outside corner at 70 miles an hour. Owen Fletcher kicking and firing. That one missed wide, one and one. Here on Carter Gabbroth night at Yellow Jacket Field. Low and in, two balls and a strike. A lot of activity going around, different businesses and the concession stand all raising funds for Carter and his family outside. Three balls and one strike. We sure appreciate him and his mom, Wendy, tuning in this afternoon. So Trayton Webster draws a leadoff walk to start the second inning to bring Colby Beach to the plate. Beach hitting 429 with six runs driven in. Throw to first, not in time. 
just everyone here from us up here in the booth and I'm sure most everyone here at the ballpark. Hopes Carter gets back home real quick. There's a foul. We sure are encouraged over all the good reports we've been getting. Nothing and won the count to Beach. Hot shot by third into left field. They're going to hold Webster up at second. Colby Beach. Solid single. Jackets have two on, nobody out for Eli Saunders. So Camden Mansayak is going to come on and run it first for the pitcher Colby Beach. Eli Saunders is 0 for 3 with a run scored in game one. Check that. Yeah, Eli Saunders bunts it foul. Nothing in one the count to Eli. Jackets lead at one nothing. Looking for more here. Call strike as he pulled the bunt back. Letter high, outside corner according to the home plate umpire. And now Eli down in the count 0 and 2. Call strike three. Wow. Generous strike zone there. First strike out. For Fletcher, Jackson Sayer was 0 for 3 with a run scored in game one. He bats with first and second and one out. Sayer's done a lot of damage out of that nine hole. Call strike. Each look like around his ankles. This guy behind the plate must be ready for supper. Chopper towards second. Going to reach out, tag the runner, throw back to first. Not in time. So four unassisted on the put out at second. Webster will move to third. Say reaches on the fielder's choice. So Ethan Picanto will bat with the runners on the corners and two out. Ethan bounced out to third his first time up. Takes one low and in. You got mostly sun around home plate with a few shadows. Again, a close play at first. Quick pickoff move by Fletcher. The mound and most of the infield covered in shadows. That can make it tough on the hitter sometimes. Line drive left field. Left fielder turning back. He's up. That's over his head. Against the wall. One run's going to score. They're going to wave Sayer around from first. Here comes to throw the plate. Not in time. Two run double with two outs. By Ethan Picanso. Let's take a look at that on the Monkey Hayes first instant replay. You see the first run scoring, and Ethan heading to second, and Sayer we waved around third, and the throw late. Three nothing, Jeff Davis. Another two out RBI hit. Gonna bring Hayden Turner to the plate. Low for ball one. Jackets have done tremendous damage with two outs here against Worth in this whole series. Throw back to second. Gets away into right field. That's going to let Picanso head over to third base on the throwing error. 
Johnson. Now runner at third with two outs. Turner flat out to right his first time up. Jackets three, Rams nothing on the Jeff Davis walking clean at scoreboard. Missed low and away. Two balls, no strikes. Three and oh. So Hayden Turner way ahead in the count. Big run standing at third base. There are two outs. If they can come up, Jackets can come up with another two out RBI hit. Call strike. Turner taking all the way. Now the count in his favor, three and one. Hit on the ground, third baseline, but foul. Now the count full, three and two. Runner at third with two outs. Jackets put two on the board here in the inning to go up three nothing on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. Fletcher winding and pitching. Hit on the ground, into left field for base hit and another run in. Picanso comes in to score. RBI single for Turner. Another two out RBI hit. And the Jackets now lead it four nothing. Duke Stone was hit by a pitch, came around to score in the first inning. Jeff Davis four, Worth County nothing. At the bottom of the second on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. Hit on the ground, third, third, by third baseman into left field. On wave, turn around. He's going to end up at third. Duke Stone is going to hustle into a double. Second and third with two outs. That's going to get the Worth County coach out of the dugout. Alex Mason will be at the plate. He doubled and drove in a run his first time up. Jackets continue to do two-out damage against the Rams. And it looks like we're going to get an EP American footwear pitching change. As Owen Fletcher... Heads to the dugout, changing gloves. Let's take a break. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Your eyes are your window to the world around you, and good vision is important to everyone. At Southern Eye Care, you can count on their expertise in treating all types of vision problems to help you see your best. From glasses to contact lenses, from surgical vision correction to treatment of eye disease and injury, their team is here to help take care of your eyes. Your vision matters at Southern Eye Care in Hazelhurst. Call them for an appointment at 912-375-2516 or visit them online at southerneyecarepc.com. Experience a better way to bank at Interstate Credit Union in Hazelhurst, where they offer a wide variety of loans. Interstate Credit Union is second to none when it comes to low rates and great customer service, specializing in personal loans, new home and construction loans, and automobile loans, as well as many other types. Their broad services include personal checking, savings, business, in-person, online, and mobile banking, and much, much more. Visit them at 14 Henson Street or call 912-375-0640, or you can contact them online at interstatecu.org. EP American Footwear Pitching Change, the new pitcher in the game for the Rams is Christian McDonald. Owen Fletcher goes an inning and two-thirds. That's five hits, four runs to this point. The two runners on base are his responsibility. One walk. One hit batter and one strikeout. Well, McDonald, lefty, will step in to face Alex Mason. Jackets lead it four to nothing on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. 
Webster walked to lead us off. Kobe Beach followed with a hit. Eli Saunders struck out. Jackson Sayer reached on the fielder's choice. With two outs, Kobe Beach doubled in two. Hayden Turner singled in one. Duke Stone doubled to keep the inning going. Now second and third with two outs for Mason, who doubled in a run his first time up. Swings at the first pitch at 74 miles an hour and fouls it back. Left-hander in the wind. High fly ball. Shortstop drifting out on the edge of the grass. He's got it. That's going to end the inning. So McDonald comes on and puts out the fire, but the Jackets pick up three runs on four hits. No errors and two left. We've got two in the books. Jackets lead at 4 nothing. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. At Jeff Davis Hospital in Hazelhurst, we are committed to building a healthy community. We use the latest technology and our knowledgeable team members provide exceptional state-of-the-art care to our local community and surrounding areas. We provide a respectful understanding of care for our patients and their loved ones. For more information about Jeff Davis Hospital and the services we provide, call 912-375-7781 or visit us online at jeffdavishospital.org. Dr. Kurt Munsiak and his staff at the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic have proudly served this community as the original walk-in clinic for your sick visit needs and as volunteer sports medicine for all our Jeff Davis athletics since 2014. Whether at the clinic, on the sidelines, courtside, mat side, or on the diamond, Dr. Kirk is always ready to help. Give him a call at 912-375-4884 or pop in at 22 Cross Street in Hazelhurst behind Jeff Davis Hospital. God bless and go Jackets from the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic. Hazelhurst Dairy Queen takes us to the top of the third inning. Jackets up 4-0 on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. Brady Weaver will start things off for Worth County. Swing and a miss. 84 miles an hour from Kobe Beach. Weaver was two for three in game one. Pops it up into shallow center field. Trayton Webster calls everybody off and comes and gets it. For route number one. Bring up Logan Fox. Fox was 0 for 3 in game one. Pitch was behind his head for ball one. Did drive in a run, reaching on the fielder's choice. In the seventh inning, is Worth tried to make a comeback late. Strike right at the top of the strike zone, 82 miles an hour. One and one. Thank everyone. Join us on our Beasley Group live stream this afternoon. Appreciate our great sponsor, the Beasley Group. High chop foul on the third base side. A ball and two strikes on Fox. Nobody on and one out. Still a little speckle sunshine around home plate area. Checked his swing on the pitch down low, and it's two and two. Kobe ready to go. Gets a sign from Dylan Kerlock. High leg kick. Call strike three. Number five for Kobe. Two outs back to the top of the order for 
Avery Kilcrease, who struck out looking his first time up. Nobody on in two outs. Fastball. I check that all speed pitch and it's low and away. The wind and the 1 0 pitch. Fouled out of play on the right side. 85 miles an hour on that good fastball from Beach. Just really looking forward to see Kobe and some of these other guys on the football field this coming fall. And a new setup down low. I mean, new region to site, new classification as we're moving down to Class A Division two division one rather larger the two single a classifications fastball in there's two and two we'll be renewing some old rivalries and picking up a new one or two in our new region the two two pitch Missed outside. Three balls and two strikes. Low and in. And Kilcrease draws a walk. First walk issued by Colby. Runner board with two outs for Luke Smith, who struck out his first time. Left-handed batter. Moves around to the left-hand side of the plate. Run at first, two outs. Beach from the stretch for the second time today. Call strike on the inside corner with a I believe that's a change up there. The 0 1, just off the outer edge. I believe he doubled up on the change up, went outside with that one, but missed. It's 1 and 1. Jackets up 4 nothing on the Jeff Davis walk-in clinic scoreboard. Ball gets away from Carelock. That's going to let Kilcrease head over the second on the pass ball. Two balls and a strike. Dylan didn't let many get by him. He's been really st- Strong and sturdy behind the plate, and his pitchers have confidence they can throw any pitch, any count. Down low. Three and one. Congratulations to our boys and girls tennis teams, both winning region championships this week. Our soccer teams, girls, so qualified for the playoffs. The boys won a region championship. That's outside in the second walk of the inning. Going to put runners on first and second. And Coach Ogilvy heading out of the dugout. Trying to settle the pitcher down. Got a minute. Want to thank our sponsors, Cypress Hill Tent Shop, McCarty Auto Parts, and Three Rivers Meat Company. Won't see an EP American footwear pitching change here as pitching coach Ogilvy out. And normally it's head coach Paul Glass who comes out to make pitching changes. Thank all of our alumni sponsors scrolling across the bottom of our score bug. This is 
Carter Galbraith night here at the ballpark. A lot of fundraisers going on, different businesses who have offered up money to pay for home runs, hits, runs, strikeouts, several different options on there. Concession stand funds also going into the Carter Galbraith Fund. Been a lot of other fundraisers around. I got my JD for KG wristbands. They've been on sale. A lot of ways to support the family. Popped up. Sayers calling for it on the infield. Sliding and making the catch right near the mound. That's going to end the inning. Worth threatens to threatens with two two out walks, but Colby Beach slams the door, and they strand two. We go to the bottom of the third. Jackets up four nothing on the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Need salvage parts for your new or late model car or truck? Then you should call McCarty Auto Parts, where parts arrive daily Monday through Friday, eight to five, at their location at 118 Ottawa Road in Hazelhurst. Check out their inventory online 24-7 at McCartyAuto.com. If they don't have the parts you need, they'll find it. Call McCarty Auto Parts in Hazelhurst for all your salvage part needs. 1-800-329-7258. Go Jackets! Make the switch to Mitch. Visit Designs and More by Brandy located inside Mitch's Pharmacy. Brandy offers all occasion flowers, silk, and fresh. Shop Designs and More by Brandy for gift baskets for that special someone. Shoes by Corky and jacket t shirt for the entire family. Located at 5 East Coffee Street in Hazelhurst. Open 9 to 6 Monday through Friday and 9 to 12 on Saturday. Give them a call at 912 699 3784 and follow them on Facebook. Go Jackets! Hazelhurst Dairy Queen takes us to the bottom of the third inning. Jackets lead it 4 0 on the Jeff Davis Walk In Clinic scoreboard. Carter Mullis, Ta- Trayton Webster, and Colby Beach do up. Christian McDonald came on in the EP American footwear pitching change last inning, and he'll stay on the mound. Mullis grounded the first his first time up. Takes one outside for ball one. Talked all the different ways you could monetarily support Carter Gabbath and his family, but most important way is continue to pray. Upstairs, two balls, no strikes. We're so thankful that both he and Renee Waters are recovering nicely from Renee with her situation inside. Three balls and no strike. I'm going to keep Renee, Roy, and their family also in our prayers. She's continued, She's also rehabbing at the Shepherd Center in Atlanta. That's a four-pitch walk. Bring Trayton Webster to the plate. Webster walked and scored his first time up. Also, remember the family of D'Angelo Adams in our prayers. Hot shot to first. First baseman scoops it up. Gathers it in. Steps on the bag. Throws over to second, but not in time. Webster hit it hard, but third first baseman was able to just Gobble that thing up and smother it to get them out. Runner at second with one out. Colby Beach singled his first time up. Large crowd watching in on our Beasley Group live stream. Breaking ball tumbles in there. I call you everybody watching. And as you 
pass around in our neighborhood and see some of these sponsors. You see their commercials between innings are all the ones scrolling across our school book. Tell them thank you for sponsoring Jeff Davis Athletics on our live stream. Without our sponsors, we can't bring these games to you. One ball, one strike to Beach. Long look, now the pitch stayed upstairs. Two and one to Colby. He's really come on to be a solid, reliable starter in this third region game of every series. High fly ball. Center field, center fielder drifting back about three or four steps, makes the catch. Tagging and bluffing it. Second is Mullis. Good throw, strong throw by the center fielder, though. Two gone, runner remains at second. Eli Saunders got caught looking his first time up. Had great crowds on our Beasley Group live stream today. Jackets trying to go for the sweep here and nail down a region championship. There's a call strike. Jackets won Tuesday 11 to 3 and won uh, game one of this doubleheader 8 to 4. Clinch no worse than second place for the Jackets, I believe. Swing and a miss, 66 mile an hour curveball. So in two. Runner at second with two outs. Jackets up by four on the Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard. Trying not to leave that man out in scoring position after the leadoff walk. And the 0 2 pitch. Swung through it. Saunders has struck out twice. Jackets do strand that runner at second. We've got three in the books. Jackets lead at 4 nothing. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Williams Brothers Trucking is now hiring qualified CDL Class A licensed drivers with at least two years over-the-road tractor-trailer experience. Williams Brothers Trucking has an excellent benefits package. They have quarterly bonuses. They have great insurance. They offer flexibility as far as your work schedule. Um, you're not really pressured into starting at any certain time throughout the day. Be home every day with family-owned and operated Williams Brothers Trucking. Apply now online. Go Jackets! At Altima Hall Bank & Trust, we strive to help you live your best life. That means offering loans for nearly any dream or goal. With competitive rates, local processing, and quick decisions, we can customize a loan to fit your needs. This is Misty Boatwright, Relationship Manager at the Hazelhurst Bridge. Come see me today at 57 North Tallahassee Street or visit our website at altimahall.bank. And let's work together to achieve your financial goals. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Dairy Queen of Hazelhurst leads us to the top of the fourth. Jackets up 4 nothing on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. It'll be Fletcher, Rogers, and Ellis. Middle of the order for the Rams. Camden Mansayak checks in and defensively in left field for the Yellow Jackets. Fletcher grounded to first. Takes a strike. Colby Beach has gone all the way for the Jackets. Missed up high. One ball, one strike. Missed down low.
Fletcher started on the mound for the Rams. Ran into trouble in the third, a second inning, couldn't get out of the inning. There's a call strike. A two and two. Kobe's got five strikeouts through three innings. Giving up one hit and a couple of walks. That one's all the way to the backstop. Count full three and two. That's been Kobe. One issue Kobe has is sometimes he kind of loses control and walks tend to be a problem with him and his pitch count gets up. Right now he's unofficially at 60 pitches. It's fouled off. Count will remain three and two. Next week, Jackets will wind up the Region 1 AA schedule with a three-game set with Berrien County. We'll travel to Nashville on Tuesday and be back home to wind up the regular season on Friday with a doubleheader. Weather permitting, of course. Call strike three. Painted the inside corner. Six strikeouts now for Beach. Luke Rogers will be the batter. He's got the lone hit for the Worth County Rams. Swing and a miss. 83 miles an hour right on by him. Rogers was... Put a Williams Brothers Trucking Company home run cut on that one. Came up empty. The 0-1 pitch. Fouled out of play. Kobe way ahead of the in the count now 0-2. Ball got loose from the dug out or from the sidelines over there. Big crowds kind of just settled in here in game two. Jackets lead it 4 nothing. Then the top of the fourth, a little pop out towards second. Ethan Picanzo will handle it easily. A little can of corn out there for Ethan. There's two gone. You know what a can of corn is in baseball? <laughs> Asking Ethan about can of corn. That's an old, old baseball saying that came around several years ago, many, many years ago, one of the old original radio broadcasters. That's a ball to Leyland Ellis. Back in the old-timey days, they would have canned goods up on the top shelves in the stores, and the storekeeper would knock the can of corn off the top shelf, and it'd fall right into his hand. So anytime you see an easy fly ball that just falls right to a player on the field, we call it a can of corn. Two balls and no strikes. Yeah, been saving that. The 2-0, there's a call strike. Two and one the count. And several years ago, coaching a little league team, and hit a, was hitting fly balls, and got kid dropped an easy fly ball like that. It was a call strike. Two and two. And I said, come on, guys, a can of corn. And they were all like, what, what, can of corn? So the next one I hit, the guy said, you got it, that's a bag of beans. That's a pot of peas. And we just. Quit hitting fly balls. We did something else. That was just nobody could pay attention. They were too busy laughing, making up different words there. That's all the way to the backstop. Counts full three and two. But that's what makes it fun. I really enjoyed all the years I coached rec league ball. My son came through playing. Now he's 
getting a taste of it. He's coaching his son in rec leagues over in Statesboro. A 3-2 pitch. A flare that's going to get down in right field. Two out hit for Ellis. Second hit of the game for the Rams. He keeps inning going with run at first. Two outs for Christian McDonald, who struck out looking his first time up. So McDonald is taking over on the mound, a chance to help himself out here. Keep an inning going with two two outs. Fast ball missed inside. In the top of the fourth, Jackets lead at 4 0, going for the sweep of the doubleheader and the series. As a strike on the outside corner. Trying to lock down a region championship. The 1 1 missed up and away. Two balls and a strike. McDonald a lefty. Bats left like he throws. Runner leads from first with two away. Paints the outside corner and evens the count at two and two. Coach Paul Glass will be continuing his streak of playoff appearances as the Jackets have clinched a playoff berth. Foul back. Count stays two and two. Popped up. Foul territory, third base side. Sayer over, makes a sliding catch. Kind of circled on the warning track. Let's see if we got that on the Manka Hazer instant replay. See, Sayer kind of runs out of our picture there. Ethan switches camera, catches on it, and see him make the diving catch as the ball kind of had backspin on it. What a play by Picanso. It's going to end the inning. No runs, a hit. No errors, one left. Go the bottom of the fourth. Jackets up 4 0 on the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Dairy Queen of Hazelhurst is proud to sponsor Jeff Davis Athletics. Whether you're celebrating a victory or cheering on your favorite team, DQ Hazelhurst is the ultimate destination for post game happiness. Fuel your winning spirit with our mouthwatering grill burgers and cool off with our signature soft serve ice cream. The perfect way to celebrate every triumph on and off the field. Make Dairy Queen Hazelhurst your post game tradition. Because in Hazelhurst, we know how to score big on flavor and fun. Go Jackets! Make tailgating easy and delicious with help from Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. Three Rivers Meat Company offers specialty cuts of beef, pork, chicken, and seafood. They also have several types of the in-house made fresh sausage. If you need a grill, they're the exclusive dealer for Traeger Grills in Hazelhurst. To place your order in advance, call 912-551-9621. 9621 or visit their beautiful meat counter at 90 West Coffee Street. Go Jackets from Derek Wooten and the Meat Professionals at Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. Dairy Queen of Hazelhurst. Takes us to the bottom of the fourth inning. Jackets up 4 nothing on the Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard. 9-1-2 in the batting order. Jackson Sayer, Ethan Picanto, and Hayden Turner will start things off. And as so often happens in the game of baseball, the guy who makes an outstanding defensive play to end an inning gets to lead off the bottom of the next inning when he comes to bat. He takes the first pitch outside. One ball, no strikes. 
Jacket scored one in the first, added three more in the second. That's where we stand right now with four nothing. Upstairs, two and oh. Say it reached on a fielder's choice, but came around to score. Christian McDonald, the left hander, gets a swing and a miss. Two and one. Came on in the second in relief of Owen Fletcher. Foul back and out of play. Count even at two and two. Fletcher allowed all four runs to this point. The 2-2 pitch. Popped into foul territory. Catcher, first baseman, both trying to get to it but can't get there. Count will stay 2-2. Two and two. So Sayer gets another chance. Takes it low and away, counts full. Jackson steps back in. Lifts it into there to shallow left field. Left fielder coming in, he'll make the catch. And there's one gone. Go back top of the order for Ethan Picanso, who has a double in two trips. Drove in a pair of runs and scored. Left fielder backing up on Ethan this time. He got burnt last time. Well, that's going to be a little humpback liner. It's going to drop into center field. Second hit of the game for Picanso. Last time up, he drove one over the left fielder's head all the way to the wall. And this time, he just a little soft liner into center field. One on and one out. Hayden Turner's one for two. That's an RBI single. Down low for ball one. Jackets up 4 nothing on the Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard. Be sure to stay with us following the game here for the Southern Night Care postgame show. We'll have interviews with players and head coach Paul Glass. Been a great afternoon here on Mitch's Pharmacy Field Condition Report. The Shadows now completely cover the field. The lights should be coming on and still just nice mild temperatures in the twilight hours here. Two balls, no strikes to Hayden Turner. So we've already got Three region championships. Let's file back. In our, in our basket here in the spring, Jeff Davis trying to add a fourth one with a win here in game two. Boys and girls tennis, boys soccer. Girls soccer team is also qualified for the playoffs. They've clinched a playoff spot. Missed outside. Three balls and one strike to Turner. Both teams came into action this week. Undefeated in region play. Jeff Davis has won the first two games in the series. Trying to 
Go for the sweep here. That's a foul. Count goes full three and two. Run it first with one out. Left-hander from the stretch, the payoff pitch. Missed outside for ball four. Worth County fans didn't think a lot of that call. Two on with one out, and Duke Stone comes to the plate. Duke's been hit by a pitch and doubled. Had two Williams Brothers Trucking Company home runs Tuesday in Worth County. That breeze, a stiff breeze that's been blowing early. It's kind of slacked off some, so maybe Duke can give one a ride here. Missed upstairs for ball one. Stone signed his letter of intent to continue playing baseball. He'll be a Mississippi State Bulldog next year. Heading out to Starkville, Mississippi. Change up, missed outside. It's 2-0. 2-0. Oh. Duke's got the count in his favor. He can look for one in his happy spot and try to bust this game wide open. Fouls it out of play. 2-1. and one. Picanto at second, Turner at first with just one out. Jackets trying to add to a four-run lead here in the fourth inning. Swing and a miss. Go to first. Close, but not in time. Count evens up now two and two. Turner had to really hustle to get back. First baseman also having to hustle to try to get back to the bag. That quick throw by the catcher, Weaver. 2-2 pitch. Popped up. Back this way. Catcher right at the screen. It's on top of the roof. Count stays 2-2. Two and two. Gets hold on and win here in game two and sweep the series would clinch a region championship and home field advantage on the first two rounds of the playoffs. I've already clinched a playoff spot. Now we're trying to see how how we can be seeded. Two and two the count. Missed outside, three and two. Worth has also clinched a playoff spot. So as the Cook Hornets, Fitzgerald and Dodger, Fitzgerald with a one-game lead on Dodge to that fourth spot. Check to swing. Oh, and a, a late appeal to the base umpire who finally rings him up. So Stone strikes out for the second out of the inning. Third strikeout for McDonald. Check that second strikeout for McDonald. Mason has a double and two trips. Two on, two outs. Good stop by the catcher. Had to slide on his knees behind Alex to Scoop that one and keep the runners at first and second. Ripped into left field base hit. They're waving Ethan around third. Left fielder loads up, fires home late. Throw to third. 
And he's going to be out at third. But Picanso scores to make it five to nothing. Give Mason an RBI. So seven two five on the put out at third, and that's going to end the inning. So the Jackets pick up a run, five nothing on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. The Bank of Hazelhurst is Jeff Davis County's only locally owned and operated bank, serving their friends and family since 1906. They offer a wide array of services, including personal, commercial, and electronic banking services, along with mortgage and ag lending. For more information on the services they offer, call them at 912-375-4228, download their banking app, or contact them online at bankofhazelhurst.com. The Bank of Hazelhurst. When others have their branches, they have their roots. Since their founding in 1968, the Beasley Group has become a vertically integrated leader in the forest products industry, and this growth has made them the largest hardwood sawmill in the United States and North America's foremost producer of crane mats and timbers for the energy transmission, utility, and construction industries. The Beasley Group is proud to be members of the Hazelhurst and Jeff Davis County community. They are also proud supporters of all Jeff Davis High School sports. Go Jackets from the Beasley Group. Derek Queen of Hazelhurst takes us to the top of inning five. Jackets in the lead, 5 nothing over the Worth County Rams on the Jeff Davis walk-in clean at scoreboard. 8-9-1 in the batting order for the Rams. Brady Weaver pops up the first pitch. Foul territory. Stone over right at the dugout and can't get there. It's out of play. Nothing in one. Weaver fly to center field his first time up. Colby Beach unofficially 78 pitches. Got Andrew White throwing down in the bullpen. Thank all everybody. We've got a huge crowd tuned in on our Beasley Group live stream. Appreciate everyone watching in today. Call strike on the inside corner. Nice pitch there. By Colby. Thanks, any. Probably have a few Worth County fans tuned in. We sure appreciate y'all tuning in and joining in with us. Reached for that one and popped it in the foul territory. Duke Stone over calling for it. Makes the catch down near the hitting facility. There's one away. Logan Fox will come to the play. Just struck out looking his first time up. Nobody on, one out. Fast ball in there for call strike. Colby is... Sees this opportunity to be the third region pitcher in our rotation. That's popped up. Duke Stone calling for it. Going to circle it just in foul territory inside the first base bag. So a couple of foul outs to the first baseman, and nobody on two outs for the Rams. They go back to the top of the order for Avery Kilcrease. Kilcrease has struck out and walked. Fouled out of play. Colby not wasting time in getting the ball and firing it in there. Two quick outs. Jackets up 5 nothing on the Jeff Davis walk-in clinic scoreboard. That missed down low. One ball, one strike. With Duke Stone not able to pitch after the Tommy John surgery he had in the offseason, that was a question mark. Who was going to fill this third spot? Fouled off. And 
Andrew White and Kobe Beach kind of competition back in two early on. And it's kind of worked out. Kobe be a starter. And Andrew White seemed real comfortable coming out of the bullpen as a closer. Time called as Dylan Kerlock trots out to the mound. Andrew came in in relief of Carter Mullis on Tuesday. Pitch two and two-thirds inning. Four strikeouts. High chopper out towards second. Nice hop for it. Picanto, low throw at first, and Stone can't handle it. Kilcrease is going to reach on the error by the second baseman. That extends the inning. Runner at first with two outs for Luke Smith, who's struck out and walked. Andrew on Tuesday, something you hardly ever see. He pitched uh, what we call an immaculate inning. He got three strikeouts on nine pitches. Ripped into right field. That's the end for a hit. That could be for extra bases. Turner tries to cut it off. It's going to be second and third with two outs. So Worth County staying in this thing, continuing to challenge Corey Corey Etheridge 0 for 2 will come to the plate. Second and third, two outs. Jackets up by five. Worth threatening to cut into that lead here, but it's going to take a two-out hit by Etheridge. Missed inside. Good block there by Dylan Kerlock behind the plate. Saved a run from scoring. Jackets have been very efficient in getting two-out RBI hits in this series. That's a strike on the outside corner. Worth County, the Rams are needing one of those two-out RBI hits right here to try to get back in this game. It's Jackets up 5 nothing. We're in the top of inning five. That's a hit into right field. That's going to score one. They drop the ball. It's going to score two. And it's five to two, and they do get that two-out RBI hit. Turner trying to get to the ball quickly to try to make a play at the plate. Bobbled it and so both run score without a throw. Owen Fletcher comes up. He's 0 for 2. Jackets now lead it 5 to 2 on the Jeff Davis Walk in Clinic scoreboard. Everybody in the bullpen just kind of standing and watching right now. Calls no oh, ball on the outer edge. Home plate umpire turned like he was fixing to call it a strike and didn't pull the trigger. The 1 0. Low 2 0. This may be a guy that Colby's got to get to stay in the game. Two runs are in. Runner at first with two outs. Clean up hitter Fletcher at the plate. He's going to lift one into right field. Turner measures it and makes the catch to end the inning. Rams pick up two runs on two hits. There was no errors. Oh, that was one error and one left. We've got go to the bottom of the fifth. Jackets five, Rams two. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. 
CNH Creative Flooring can make your floors beautiful. They are this area's foremost experts when it comes to concrete grinding, polishing, crack repair, and epoxy coatings. They offer hundreds of color epoxy flake systems to choose from, custom metallics, neat coats, inlaid emblems, and much more. Whether it's your home, garage, man cave, pool deck, sidewalks, porches, or carport, let us help you make it gorgeous, safe, colorful, and skid resistant. Call Daryl Hutto at 912-381-9037 or Cody Carter at 912-592-5493 or message them on Facebook. Cypress Hill Tent Shop, located in Graham, Georgia, offers tenting solutions for every need. Sunroofs, tent matching, removal of old tent, and new installation using state-of-the-art equipment and machines. Cypress Hill Tent Shop uses a union tent, guaranteed not to bubble, fade, or discolor over time, and offers both carbon and ceramic tent options. Tent protects the inside of your vehicle and keeps the inside cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. We also offer pickup and drop-off options for your convenience. Call us today. Go Jackets! Dare Queen of Hazers takes us to the bottom of the fifth inning. Jeff Davis, five, Worth County, two on the Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard. Carter Mullis, Trayton Webster, and Colby Beach. Five, six, seven in the batting order for the Yellow Jackets. And we do up against Christian McDonald, a left hander still in there. Off the handle and foul. Mullis is. Rounded to first and walked. Check that. This is Camden Mansayak. Pinch hitting. Call strike on the outside corner. Camo comes comes in hitting 118 on the season. Senior outfielder. That hit him. So Camo's aboard. To lead us off in the fifth, Trayton Webster. A breaking ball that just kind of hung on the inside corner and Camo might have turned into that one just a little bit. Took it off the Back of his arm. Webster's walked, ground, grounded to first. Throw over. Gets by the first baseman, but and Sayak has to stay there. Jackets trying to add on here in the bottom of the fifth. Just high to Webster. Camo's got a big lead over at first. Almost hit Trayton. All way inside to the left-hander. 2-0. Lefty lefty matchup here. Jackets up by three trying to sweep a series and lock in a region championship. Pop foul. Two balls and a strike to Webster. Webster still looking for his first hit today. Went 0 for 3 in game one of the doubleheader. He's swinging a hot bat for a few weeks. Boy, you couldn't get him out. Call strike. What a generous call. Two balls, two strikes. I don't believe Trayton could have reached that with a eight-foot pole. 2-2 two -two pitch. Right back where it came from into center field for a base hit. You can go hold Camo at second. Colby Beach to, to the plate with a chance to help himself. Eight hits now in the game for the Yellow Jackets. 
Colby has one of those. Second inning single. First and second. Nobody out. Beach showed bun and fouls it off. Jackets lead it by three in the fifth, trying to get some insurance here. You find out in game one, you better get all you can because these guys ain't going to quit to the last out. Bunted foul on the first baseline, 0-2. Coming off the bat, looked like it's going to be a good bunt, but it had a little side spin to it and hit the dirt and st- Jump foul. Catcher jumped right on it. Ford had a chance to maybe find a pebble and kick fair. 0 oh 2 to Beach. The left hander stretches and delivers. Missed outside. One and two the count to Colby. Came in hitting over 400. Swing and a miss. One away. For Eli Saunders who struck out twice. Check that Jude Worthington. Is going to come on to pinch hit. So two on with one out. Outside for ball one. Hey, Jude, come on, get us a hit here. We need some insurance here. We're in the fifth, but just lead by three. Popped up on the right side, second baseman. Behind first base on the dirt makes the catch. There's two away. We'll need a two-out hit from Jackson Sayer. Jackson's going to do any damage here in the fifth. Hit batter and a... Single to start the inning. Now there's two outs and runners still at first and second. Sayers reached on the fielder's choice. Fly to left. He did score after reaching on that fielder's choice. Call strike. McDonald's come on and slam the door on the jackets pretty much. After they scored four runs in the first two innings, that's a foul out of play. Jackets did manage to pick up a run last inning on the two-out hit by Alex Mason. Oh and two now to Jackson. Upstairs. One ball, two strikes. Jackets five, Rams three. Win the bottom of the fifth inning with two on and two outs. Looking for another one of those two out RBI hits. Takes it up and away. Count even at two and two. Thank our sponsor, Cypress Hill Tent Shop, McCarty Auto Parts, and Three Rivers Meat Company. The 2-2 pitch. Slowly toward short. Shortstop's going to load, throw to first. In time to end the inning. Jackets leave two here in the fifth inning. We go to the six. Jackets.
five, Rams two, 60 seconds on the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. EP American Footwear in Hazelhurst is proud to be a part of the Hazelhurst Jeff Davis community and are proud sponsors of all Jeff Davis County sports. If you're looking for a great job with a great company, they are hiring for all shifts. You can apply in person Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, at 10 North Hill Street in Hazelhurst. Go Jackets from all the folks at EP American Footwear of Hazelhurst. Go Jackets! Your eyes are your window to the world around you, and good vision is important to everyone. At Southern Eye Care, you can count on their expertise in treating all types of vision problems to help you see your best. From glasses to contact lenses, from surgical vision correction to treatment of eye disease and injury, their team is here to help take care of your eyes. Your vision matters at Southern Eye Care in Hazelhurst. Call them for an appointment at 912-375-2516 or visit them online at southerneyecarepc.com. Dairy Queen of Hazelhurst takes us to the top of inning six. Jackets up five to two on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. EP American Footwear pitching change. Andrew White comes on in relief of Colby Beach. Colby goes five innings, allows four hits, two runs, two walks, six strikeouts. Andrew White will come on. No wins or losses, but a save on the season and 23 innings pitched. 19 hits, 8 runs, 14 walks, 38 strikeouts. So Luke Rogers will lead it off. He swings at the first pitch inside out. Out of play on the right side. Andrew faced Worth County on Tuesday. Another lunging swing at a pitch outside. So in two. Andrew pitched two and a third innings, picked up four strikeouts, including an immaculate inning in the six. Swing and a miss. There's one away. Three strikeouts on nine pitches in the top and the bottom of the sixth inning last Tuesday against Worth. They'll bring Leyland Ellis up. He's got a hit and two trips. He swings and misses. 84 miles an hour on the inside corner. Andrew's a lefty. Seems to have really taken to this reliever throw. That's a swing and a miss. 0 and 2. And he does. He just comes in and fire strikes. Just missed outside at 83. Tried to paint the outside corner to the right-handed batter. Ball and two strikes. Nobody on one out for Worth. Top of inning six. Curveball got him. 64 miles an hour on that Uncle Charlie. And there's number two. Strike out number two. Two away. Christian McDonald. Is 0 for 2. So left handed hitter, left handed batter. With nobody on two outs here in the six. Starts him off with a breaking ball. They appeal to first, and the first base umpire, like, I don't know.
call strike on the outside corner. It's one and one. Jackets five, Rams two. We're in the top of the sixth inning. T- nobody on two outs. Swing and a miss. 78 miles an hour. Shoulder high. The one two pitch. Missed wide. Two balls, two strikes. Andrew kicks and fires. Change up. He went around, called him out. 61 miles an hour on that all speed pitch. Three strikeouts for White. He strikes out the side. And the Rams are done here in the sixth inning. We move on to the bottom of the sixth. Jackets up five to two. This is the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Experience a better way to bank at Interstate Credit Union in Hazelhurst, where they offer a wide variety of loans. Interstate Credit Union is second to none when it comes to low rates and great customer service, specializing in personal loans, new home and construction loans, and automobile loans, as well as many other types. Their broad services include personal checking, savings, business, in-person, online, and mobile banking, and much, much more. Visit them at 14 Henson Street or call 912-375-0640, or you can contact them online at interstatecu.org. At Jeff Davis Hospital in Hazelhurst, we are committed to building a healthy community. We use the latest technology, and our knowledgeable team members provide exceptional, state-of-the-art care to our local community and surrounding areas. We provide a respectful understanding of care for our patients and their loved ones. For more information about Jeff Davis Hospital and the services we provide, call 912-375-7781 or visit us online at jeffdavishospital.org. Gary Queen of Hazers takes us to the bottom of inning six. Jackets up five to two on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. It's going to be top of the order for the Jackets. Picanso, Turner, and Stone. Christian McDonald will stay on the hill for the Rams. He's the second pitcher. Used by Worth County tonight. Picanso is two for three, a double, a single, two runs scored, and two driven in. Senior second baseman having a good senior year. So Picanso leads us off. Takes a strike on the outside corner. Thank everyone that's been watching in tonight on the Beasley Group live stream. We've had big crowds for both games. Swing and a miss. Ethan down in the count 0-2. Back on the air. Tuesday, we travel to Berrien County. We'll have to make sure that what restrictions they may put on us for our live stream over there. That's behind him. He didn't allow us to do a live stream for football. We may have to do something creative like just do a scoreboard shot and not show you the live action, but we'll get the game to you somehow on Tuesday. That's fouled off and out of play. Assuming Barron Barron County, of course, regular season, the home school controls broadcast rights, so they could not allow us to do anything if they want to, but normally they at least let us do audio. One-two pitch, missed outside, two and two. Friday will be... Weather permitting, of course, this is all subject to the weather forecast. We would wind up the regular season with a double header with Berrien County here. That hit him. 
So Picanso's aboard to lead off the six. Well, insurance here wouldn't hurt. Got the right guys coming up at the right time. Hayden Turner. One for two, with a, also with a walk. Hayden's driven in a run today. Jackets lead it five to two on the Jeff Davis walk-in clinic scoreboard. Trying to pick up a couple of insurance runs here. Swing and a miss. Throw over to first is not in time. The 0 1 to Turner. Swing and a miss, 0 and 2. McDonald's been tough now. They're not throwing it hard, but he doesn't leave anything hardly over the Part of the plate, he works the corners and changes speeds really well. 0-2 to Turner. Got him swinging. One away. Five strikeouts now for McDonald. That brings Duke Stone up. Newt's got a double and two trips. Also has been hit by a pitch. He scored one. Run at first, one out. Need to try to find a way to get him in. Breaking ball in for a strike. 64 miles an hour on that slow curve. Wind that blew all afternoon is laid down now. McDonald steps off. Call strike on the outside corner. 0-2 to Stone. Picanto was hit by a pitch to lead off the inning. He's first now with one out. Stone behind in the count, 0 and 2. Got him with another all speed pitch. Another strikeout for McDonald. That's going to be two outs and leave it up to Alex Mason, who's two for three with a pair of runs driven in. I haven't had a Williams Brothers Trucking Company home run today. Maybe it's time for Alex to come through. Outside for ball one. Looking ahead to the seventh for Worth County, it's going to be 8-9-1 in the batting order coming up for the Rams. The Canto leads from first, now with two outs. 2-0 two and o to Mason. Now Alex, with the count in his favor, can start looking for a pitch to drive. He's got a Williams Brothers Trucking Company home run on the season. That bounced in front of the plate. And that wild pitch will get Picanso over to second. Three balls, no strikes to Mason. See if Coach Glass gives him a green light here with 3-0. and A big insurance run now in scoring position and two outs. Got to be right where you want it if you're going to swing at it, 3-0. Nowhere near. And so a walk puts first and second with two outs for Carter Mullis, who's due. Carter's 0 for 1, but he has walked, been hit by a pitch. Check that Cam- Camden Mansayak, who's hit by a pitch his last time up. 
Two on, two outs for Camo. He's going to crowd up on the plate. Ripped into left field for a base hit. They're going to send Ethan around third. Left fielder coming in, firing home. He's going to be late. Throw to second is not in time. That's a big insurance run on a two-out hit by Camo. Jackets now lead it 6-2. to two. Camden Mansiak comes through. He's going to head down to second on the throw to the plate. Second and third with two outs for Webster. He's walked, singled, and bounced to first. Jackets have really made these two-out RBI hits deadly in this series. That's foul backing out of play. Another two-out RBI hit for the Jackets. Lead is four. Feel a lot better if it were six with these two runs on base coming in. One ball, one strike to count. Lefty-lefty matchup, though. Generally, the left-handed pitcher has the advantage. Off the end of the bat foul. A ball and two strikes. Runners second and third, two outs. Jackets six, Rams two. We're in the bottom of the sixth inning. The wind and the one-two. Ripped into right field base hit. Big hit by Trayton Webster. One run's going to score. They're going to hold the. They're going to hold. Camo up at third. Mason scores another two-out RBI hit for the Jackets. And it's now seven to two. Colby Andrew White will be the batter. Another lefty-lefty matchup here. White hitting 333 on the season. So two big insurance runs here in the bottom of the six. Wide for ball one. Canto let us off being hit by a pitch after two outs. Mason drew a walk. Camden Mansiak drove in a run with a hit, and Trayton Webster drove in one with a hit with two outs. Fouled off. He didn't count it one and one. <laughs> one ball, one strike. Jacket seven, Rams two on the Jeff Davis walk in clinic scoreboard. Again, looking ahead, Rams will bring up eight, nine, and one to the plate in the seventh. Swing and a miss. Had him fooled on a breaking ball. One and two. Now, Andrew's got to really lock in here. Big run at third if we can get him in. The one two. Call strike three on the outside corner. But the Jackets pick up two insurance runs on two big hits. No errors, two left. We go to the top of the seventh. Gotta hold them, Jackets. Jeff Davis seven to two over the Rams. This is Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network.
Dr. Kurt Munsiak and his staff at the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic have proudly served this community as the original walk-in clinic for your sick visit needs and as volunteer sports medicine for all our Jeff Davis athletics since 2014. Whether at the clinic, on the sidelines, courtside, mat side, or on the diamond, Dr. Kirk is always ready to help. Give him a call at 912-375-4884 or pop in at 22 Cross Street in Hazelhurst behind Jeff Davis Hospital. God bless and go Jackets from the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic. Need salvage parts for your new or late model car or truck? Then you should call McCarty Auto Parts where parts arrive daily Monday through Friday 8 to 5 at their location at 118 Ottawa Road in Hazelhurst. Check out their inventory online 24-7 at McCartyAuto.com. If they don't have the parts you need, they'll find it. Call McCarty Auto Parts in Hazelhurst for all your salvage part needs. 1-800-329-7258. Go Jackets! Dairy Queen of Hazelhurst takes us to the top of inning seven. Jackets lead at 7-2 on the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. Brady Weaver's going to lead it off. He swings and misses at the first pitch from Andrew White. Logan Fox will follow and then back to the top of the order for Avery Kilcrease. Weaver's 0 for 2. Swing and a miss. Nothing in two. Andrew struck out the side in the sixth inning. Missed upstairs. A ball and two strikes. Jackets trying to sweep the series and win a region championship. Missed low. Count even up at two and two. Got him. 83 miles an hour. Got a throw to first and just did get him. His Carlock dropped the ball. Four strikeouts. But White, Logan Fox is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Got one big out here in the seventh. Inside for ball one. Call strike. Can't even hit a ball in a strike. Swing and a miss. 83 right on by. One and two. Andrew ready to fire. Kicks. Swing and a miss. Five strikeouts for Andrew now. Five batters faced. Last chance for the Rams is Avery Kilcrease, who struck out, walked, reached on an error, and scored. Jacket seven, Rams two. We're trying to close out the sweep of the series and the doubleheader here. Missed inside. Wind in the pitch. 2 and 0. Oh. Nobody on two outs. Has a swing and a miss. 81. Down and in. Two balls and a strike. Kilcrease, right handed bat, of course. Wide a lefty. Swing and a miss. 83 on the outer edge. And Worth County's down to their last strike. Kicked by Andrew. Popped up. 
Ethan Picanso says he's got it. He's going to be called off by Hayden Turner. Turner makes the catch. And the Jackets sweep the series and clinch a region championship. Your final score, Jeff Davis 7, Worth County 2. I want to take a break here, get things totaled up, and we'll be back with the Southern Eye Care postgame show right after this on the Jeff Davis Hospital Baseball Network. Make the switch to Mitch. Visit Designs and More by Brandy located inside Mitch's Pharmacy. Brandy offers all occasion flowers, silk, and fresh. Shop Designs and More by Brandy for gift baskets for that special someone, shoes by Corky, and jacket t-shirts for the entire family. Located at 5 East Coffee Street in Hazelhurst, open 9 to 6 Monday through Friday and 9 to 12 on Saturday. Give them a call at 912-699-3784 and follow them on Facebook. Williams Brothers Trucking is now hiring qualified CDL Class A licensed drivers with at least two years over-the-road tractor-trailer experience. Williams Brothers Trucking has an excellent benefits package. They have quarterly bonuses. They have great insurance. They offer flexibility as far as your work schedule. Um, you're not really pressured into starting at any certain time throughout the day. Be home every day with family-owned and operated Williams Brothers Trucking. Apply now online. Go Jackets! At Altima Hall Bank & Trust, we strive to help you live your best life. That means offering loans for nearly any dream or goal. With competitive rates, local processing, and quick decisions, we can customize a loan to fit your needs. This is Misty Boatwright, Relationship Manager at the Hazelhurst Branch. Come see me today at 57 North Tallahassee Street or visit our website at altimahall.bank. And let's work together to achieve your financial goals. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Welcome to the Southern Eye Care Post Game Show where the Jackets have completed the sweep of this doubleheader and also the series with Worth County, your final here in game two, seven runs, ten hits, one error for the Jackets, two runs, four hits, one error for the Rams. The game one totals, eight runs, six hits, one error for the Jackets, four runs, five hits, four errors for the Rams. Kobe Beach gets a win here in game two. Andrew White comes on and pitches effectively in relief. Alex Mason picked up the win in game one. And Trayton Webster came on to finish that one up for for uh, Alex of the Jackets. Get the sweep. And if I my figures are right, I believe this clinch is a region championship. As Worth now has three losses in the region, the Jackets have not lost a game in the region. So worst we can end up now with is three losses. But we have the tiebreaker over to the Rams. That's Alex Mason comes in. Alex joins us here. Picked up the win in game one with uh, six and a third strong inning, six strikeouts. Uh, um, you know, it looked like um, your fastball was jumping for you pretty good, but your off-speed pitch kind of was a little iffy there at times. Yes, yeah, sir. I, I struggled tonight with the curveball, so I had to throw more fastballs. And, mm-hmm. you know, they were sitting that, so they put it in play more. They hit it more, so just uh, couldn't find that pitch tonight. i tell you one thing that I've, I've seen you – Got two hits here in game two and, and drove in a couple of runs. One thing that's been key in this whole series is the two out RBI hits, mm-hmm. and we've just been deadly with those. Yes, sir. I think uh, Coach Glass told us actually mm-hmm. out of the 11 runs we scored earlier this week, uh, mm-hmm. 10 of them were from two out hits. Yes, and sir. That's really big, you know, and defense is kind of on their heels, hoping to get mm-hmm. off the field. Just two out hits, can that can really get the momentum going. Great job. We're, we're heading to the playoffs now once again. Uh, got three more games next week. Berrien County, we can't look too far ahead. we got to take care of business no, next we week. Got, we got three more big games. You know, we'd yeah. like to get all three of those and then you know, get some momentum going in the playoffs. Congratulations on the wins tonight. Thank you. Alex Mason joining us here. Camden Monsiak comes in. Camo got a big RBI hit. That game was a little too close for, for my liking, and, and you gave us a, a little extra cushion there late. Uh, yes, sir. We didn't play how we wanted to, but mm-hmm. but the game uh, had runners, I think, third at second, and I just knew I'm not going to hit the ball at the ballpark. That's not the type of hitter I am. Right. So just try to uh, try to find where the hitter, where the uh, fielders ain't, and that's what I did, and I ended up getting the RBI out of it. And, and, and that's a, that's the key, what I talked to Alex about. We had a ton of two-out RBI hits in this mm-hmm. series, Huge. and that's, that's deadly to, to the other team. Huge, because – 
when you get a two two hour hit, when you're two outs, they're like, mm -hmm. oh, we're about to go hit, we're about to get back a chance, and yeah. you just keep getting hits, it's demoralizing to the other team. Sweeping the series against team, both teams came into this week uh, undefeated in region play, and uh, kind of making a statement here for postseason with a sweep over a number three ranked team in the state. Yes, sir. We knew going in they were a good team, and, and they, they, yeah, they, they are. They yeah. are a good team, mm -hmm. but um, we just had to stay focused, that keep the main thing the main thing, and that's what we did out here. Congratulations on the big hit tonight and the win. Hey. Camden Mansayak. Ethan Bacanso joins us now. Ethan, uh, another big night to play. You had a couple of hits in game two and, a, and drove in a couple of runs. But I'm going to talk to you a little bit about your defense. I've watched you all season long now. Uh, you're as steady and sure-handed at second base as, as any guy I've seen play for the Jackets. But what impressed me most is how quick you turned it on the double play. Yeah, the double play, you know, I ain't mm -hmm. got a strong of an arm, so I got to right. get rid of it fast and – it works out. That's how you got to do it. You and Eli have really formed a, a kind of a bond there up the middle. Whether, you know, he's turning the double player, you, y'all seem to work real fluid together. Yeah, we, we got each other pretty good. And Duke over there at first has come up with some big digs. It, it'll <laughs> yeah. save you guys a time yeah, or two. He, he says it's pretty good. All right, so big win. We get the sweep of the series now. We stay undefeated in region play. Uh, Got three more big games next week to wind this regular season up. Yeah, we got to enjoy this win tonight and get ready for next week. Congratulations. Wins tonight. Andrew White. No, I'm sorry. Tell me your name. Colby. Colby, Colby. I knew you won, Andrew. You're too tall. <laughs> uh, but, Colby, I said, a great job. You, you you picked up the win here in game number two. Uh, uh, it pitched real well, kind of maybe run out of gas a little bit late there. Yes, your pitch sir. count got up. But yes, uh, I tell you what, you've really uh, taken this, this third region starter to heart and, and kind of grabbed hold to it and made it your own. Yes, sir. Really couldn't find my off speed today, but mm -hmm. had to stick with the fastball. And you can't do that, especially when we get to the playoffs. These guys sitting on fastballs, you're going you're gonna to get hit. So All right. I got to fix that. All right. Well, they've got a week to work on it. we got a big series next week trying to – Finish up this region slate undefeated. Yes, sir. Congratulations on the win tonight in the sweep. Kobe Beach. Now it's Andrew White. He joins us. Andrew, I tell you what, once again, you came in uh, uh, late in this game with still in, you know, pretty close game and throwing strikes and getting strikeouts. Yes, sir. My job is to get in and throw strikes and let my defense work and hold them to no runs. It looks like you're, you're – Fastball really had like a little extra giddy up on it tonight. It was like it was just getting on the batters before they realized it. Yes, sir. Tonight was just one of those nights you feel good and you just mm -hmm. got to let it loose. All right. Well, we get, got to wind up this region slate with three more next week against Barron County. Can't slack up. No, sir, we can't. They're, we got to be at Barron and play Barron just like we play Worth and yep. finish it up. Congratulations on the wins tonight. Andrew White joins us. Tell me your name. Hey, Trayton, I, I'm sitting here. I'm getting too old for this to keep remembering you guys. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, great win here tonight. Two big wins over a really good team. And i uh, tell you what, uh, uh, you came in and pitched, uh, closed out the first game that kept us, you know, got us a chance to make, get the sweep. Yes, sir. All I, all I had to do was go in there and go strikes just to end the game. Well, i tell you what, that's that's the thing, just like you and Andrew both. You come in that situation, your team has the lead, you can't give them free passes and let them get a chance to crawl back in a game. No, sir, you can't. All right. We'll get a sweep over a really good team here and, and kind of set ourselves up for some big-time playoff action. But we've got three more games next week. We can't start looking ahead quite yet. Oh, yeah. we got Barry next week. I hope we beat them and going with good momentum in the playoffs. Congratulations on the win tonight. Thank you. Trayton Webster. Duke Stone comes in. Duke again swinging good bat. Talk to talk to uh, Ethan a little bit about defense. So he's he and and Eli have really formed a good double play combination out second, and you're on the back end of it, and you're starting to make those tough scoops on the throws in the dirt to help save those those extra bases right there. Yes, sir. Ethan and Eli do a very good job in the mm -hmm. middle there. They both have probably arguably the best gloves on the team, along with yep. Jackson and a mm -hmm. few others, but. They really – Ethan made some good play behind Alex right there, yeah. really good play, and Eli made a couple good plays up the middle. Mm -hmm. and just I just talked talk to Ethan. I said, I think he turns a double play as quick as any second baseman we've had in a long time. Oh, yeah, he gets rid of it. All right, so uh, big series win here to sweep a good team like Worth County. 
now we got to set our sights on Barry next week to wind up this regular season. Uh, this team looks like they're kind of keeps building momentum as each series goes by. Yes, sir. I thought we played pretty good tonight. Yeah. I think we can play a lot better, but we kind of had some unfortunate stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The umpire and the strike zone was kind of inconsistent for both teams, yep. I'll say. But right. that really not an excuse. But I, we're playing pretty good. We got to really get it cranked up for next week and get some into the playoffs. Get, yes, get hot going into the playoffs. Yes, sir. Congratulations on the two wins tonight. Duke Stone joins us. Here on the Southern Eye Care Post Game Show, Coach Paul Glasgow comes in here. Coach, uh, congratulations on another sweep. Um, really good team. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, anytime you you can sweep a double header, it's good. But you sweep a three game series against a team like that, I tell you what, never felt comfortable up here no. in the booth. I know you didn't in the dugout. Well, I mean, it, it, you know, from the time we finished the last series last mm-hmm. week. And this one was up next. Right. There was an uneasy feeling because, you know, they've been playing really good. They've mm-hmm. won a lot of games and uh, playing with a lot of confidence and had a little hop in their step. Mm-hmm. And then we go over there, and the next thing you know, first inning, we just ran into a buzzsaw. And yeah. we were like, you know, here, we better we better buckle it up a little bit mm-hmm. tighter here because this is this is a little bit different. And so, there's a big crowd and a loud crowd over yeah. there. So, uh, but we, we come, we kind of, we managed – and we, we complimented our guys. I yep. thought we did a really good job over there mm-hmm. of staying on an even keel and yep. not getting too high or too low. And baseball's a game where you got to do that. Yep. You can't you can't just stay up all the time. I mean, mm-hmm. if you can if you can get to that level and stay there, you're okay. Yeah. But you, if you kind of go back into baseball's a game that'll hurt you now. Yep. And uh, we did a really good job over there of maintaining mm-hmm. nice little even keel demeanor mm-hmm. and you know not not get too down and show bad body language and stuff like that and. I was a little – I was not a little. I was a lot worried coming into the night yeah. about, you know, we kind of have it in cruise control a little bit mentally. Right. More so than anything else. And I told them, I said, that's a – you know, if they come over here and win two games, they win the series. That's so right. You, there better be some urgency and some uh, some some desire and, and, and a little bit of energy in the ballpark mm-hmm. because all we did was win one game. So – and I thought we come out and we played pretty good. I mean, yeah. we had some – we we had some really good at bats tonight, and we had some grotesque. We had some ugly ones. We did. I mean, if we didn't, there wasn't much in the middle. It was either a pretty good at bat, or it was just it was it was brutal. Mm-hmm. And that's something that we got to fix. There was a couple of innings that we runner at second, no outs, first and second, no outs, leadoff guy on, and we don't sniff nothing. And that's that's a recipe for disaster when you start talking playoff baseball. Right. That's going to send you to the house in the playoffs. So that's got to be something that we ramp up a little bit. I think within the last couple of weeks, we've really done a good job offensively with the two with two outs. Absolutely. And, and did it again tonight. Had a lot of two out hits again tonight. Yes. Defensively, we get two outs, and we seem to let our foot off the gas a little bit. We get it. The trouble we got in tonight was when we got two outs. Mm-hmm. And uh, we just got to – you got to smell the blood in the water, and you got to bear down when you get two outs. You can't take your foot off the gas, and uh, I think we've done a good job of that offensively. Defensively, we got to do a little bit better. But uh, you know, it, it felt like we just kind of gutted out the last half of game one and this game right here. And uh, but I mean, you never apologize for winning, yeah. and, and and we we did enough, and we had some guys that stepped up and did good. I thought Beach threw the ball really well. Oh, he, he had, had an inning game. where we were like, hmm, I don't know. Yeah. And, and, all of a sudden, he found another gear, and mm-hmm. he got on in there, and uh, his pitch count got him. Right. And, and, again, we'll go back and look at his charts, and, and he, he threw a lot of pitches with two outs. Mm-hmm. He, his pitch count really went up with two outs. So, that's something where he needs to kind of bear down on that. We get two outs, we're going to go right and attack these guys, right. especially down in the order. And uh, But he threw the ball really well. And, uh, and for a, about three innings tonight, he was a one-pitch guy. He couldn't really find his curveball or his changeup. Yep. And then uh, Andrew came in. I was a little bit concerned bringing Andrew in mm-hmm. just because he threw a little bit on Tuesday. But he come in and he was really sharp. Well, I tell you what, well and I told him it looked like his his fastball kind of caught another gear at the plate and really got to get yeah. in on those guys. Yeah, he did. And he, he's starting to be able to spot it a lot better mm-hmm. than he used to. And he's starting to command his off-speed pitch a little bit right. better than he used to. And, you know, in game one, Mason threw the ball well again. Absolutely. His pitch count went up. Mm-hmm. And uh, we ended up having to get him. And, uh, you know, we were – Andrew didn't really have a lot of time to get loose. Trayton gets loose a little quicker. So we brought Trayton in. He pounded the zone. But, again, Worth's going to put the ball in play. And he hit some balls hard. And 
That yeah. made it interesting. Yeah, there, I mean, you got to you. They're not just going to take a knee. Nope. You know what I mean? There, you got to go get them out. You got to go beat them. You can't just sit here and wait for them to self inflict. That mm-hmm. ain't going to happen against good teams. So, uh, but I was proud of, proud of our guys that we we gutted it out and uh, you know move on, live live to play another day. Well, I don't know if I'm right or not, but looks like uh, with, the, with them now having three losses, that last win. Clinched us number one in the region. Really? Okay. And, uh, you know, because we, we got the tiebreaker over them. So, you know, but let's don't take that for granted. We're going to go. Nah, let's, I mean, go let's go win three more and make sure there's no doubt. Well, you know, and, and look, when, when it, whenever we start out the season, we want to mm-hmm. start out the season to try to be the highest seed we can be. Right. And a lot of people really – and I, that look, that's them and theirs, and everybody does their own thing. A lot mm-hmm. of people celebrate region championships. Mm-hmm. and. Look, it, to us, we don't really say, hey, we're, we we just say, hey, we're the one seed or right. the two seed. Because it ain't about winning the region. It's about winning the, the big one. Right. You know, and that's what, really what we're after, and that's what we're chasing. Mm-hmm. So, we're, we're, if we've secured the one seed, hey, that's great. we still got a week of the season left mm-hmm. uh, and, and three, three region games next week. And if we were to go – stumbling through next week, then that's going to be the momentum that we take into the the playoffs. playoffs. Is that what we want to do, or do we want to really try to hit another gear next week and hit the playoffs in full stride? That's That's really what you're after. That's what you got to do. That's what we'll try to challenge our guys to do Mm -hmm. uh, going into next week. Well, Coach, uh, congratulations on a great season at this point. A a sweep here against a really good team, and let's go get them next week. Thank you, Jim. That's Coach Paul Glass here on the Southern Eye Care Post Game Show as Jackets Sweep the doubleheader against Worth County tonight. They won. Uh, let me get my book here. Get, make sure I give you the right numbers. Winning game one, 11 to three, and winning game two, eight to four. I think I got that backwards there. Check that one. Eight, game one, eight to four, and winning game two, my score is seven to two. That's going to do it here for. My director, Ethan Griffin, Ethan Dixon, I'm going to call him the wrong name again. My director, Ethan Dixon, 